Hello everyone, I think I'm ready to get started. So let's chat a little bit first. So we are basically at the end game of the game. I have only been here, I think, maybe once before when I said I beat the game originally. I, I always kind of started up Secret Amana and I would stop playing somewhere around like the fire country, ice country territory. So now we're going into very gray territory for me in terms of what I remember. So here's a rule of thumb. If I see a boss and I don't remember its weakness, we're probably going to stick to freeze. If I think I know the weakness, I'm going to cast it. I could technically spend MP analyzing. I guess we can analyze boss HP now that we're a bit further into the game. I guess we can see what that looks like briefly. I'm more worried about messing up my damage stun lock though. So I don't know, I'll, I'll, I'll think about it. <laughs> it's weird to think of it that way, but I'm like, man, I really don't want to see what these bosses do. So unfortunately, I believe a lot of them are uh, sprite swaps or alternatives to things we've already fought. I think there's maybe two or three unique boss types we haven't seen yet. But there's actually a surprising number of bosses between us and the end of the game. So again, wish me luck. We'll see how it goes. Let's go ahead and pause the soundtrack. And let's jump into things. This is the Reaper's power. We're seeing Boldy, apparently. Welcome, Chris. Let me re-familiarize myself a moment. Sorry for always checking this when I come in. That's what I get for taking breaks. Oh, controller. Controller, I did not press another button on that screen. Nice try, though. Uh, we're level 6 freeze. Oh, that's really good. Okay. Uh, Salamando's 4, Gnomus 4, Silphid's 4. I don't think I need to use Luna or Shade on anything. So I think that's fine. Check one more character. Did I level up anything in regards to muscle magic? No. I don't think it really matters, but... Maybe we'll get some casts, if I can remember. See, the, the downside is, if you haven't played in a while, I have to think to myself, when do I get an MP restore? Because I do not want to come back. So, I'm, I'm gonna hesitate a lot to level the girl's magic. One, it's slower. Two... I don't really want to come back. Okay, chat. If, if I've been paying attention to the map, I swear, I hope I, I hope I guessed correctly. I feel like the answer is somewhat southwest. Oh my gosh, I remembered where it was. Holy. The miracle happened, chat. You have no idea, chat. That could have been anywhere on the map. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I remember looking at the globe like three or four times last time and I'm like, I swear, I swear this better be the right direction. Uh, so we're getting pulled into a cutscene. Why, hello there, Chan. Look at this. So glad to see you. You're going to like this. The ancient continent will surface once I've broken all the palace seals. Once I break this last seal, the Mana Fortress will rise. Too bad you won't be around. Oh, Look, Chan, he's genuinely sad that we're not going to be here, Wink. Who wants the job? His name is Sheiks. I think that was brought up once before in the playthrough, but what a name, chat. What a name. I owe them one since the Republic. Leave it to me. You, you're the Dark Stalker? Behold, have a taste of my true power. Oh, you're one of the enemy types I'm worried about. Huh. The Underworld gives us its strength. I'll squish you. The con the contract we signed with the Underworld gives us control of this world. To keep humans under my control, we're reviving the Mana Fortress. 
Now your time is over. Alright, uh, so... If I remember correctly, what makes this fight kind of annoying, and it's not immediately obvious to the chat... If I drop combo here, I believe the enemy is gonna cast wall. And if the enemy casts wall, I obviously can't stun lock him, so I'm gonna hope that this is fast enough. We're gonna do something like this maybe to get through. Alright, let's let's do safety. I'm gonna do at least six. I wanna guarantee this thing dies. I can get my MP back later, as long as I don't burn all of it. Oh, it did burst. That's fine. It hit the girl, but I don't really care about the girl's health total. Don't you dare cast wall. Don't you even dare. Alright, Chad, don't you even dare cast it. I know you have it. Uh-oh. Uh, it cast it. That's unfortunate. I was just slightly too slow. Do I have what I need to dispel, or is that the next thing? Damn. I was just slightly too slow. I don't think I have a way around this. Hmm... Well, I guess if we're going to be doing legitimate fighting... I don't need to do that much more. I... Fortunately, we leveled our weapons, so we, you know, we have the backup strat. Will you... Will you stop <laughs> targeting this character? Oh, no, 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 I didn't mean to do that. Wrong character. What? What did I even get hit by? Do you see him constantly spamming? Do you see this nonsense? Look at this. He is not stop casting. What a cheater. Stop that. <laughs> poor, poor Numnu. He's literally getting like spell locked here. Holy. I don't know what keeps hitting me. I'm calling shenanigans. Uh, Let's try to revive her here. Okay, I made her escape death by using healing magic. I'm also just gonna start casting here, I think. Wow, this fight gets ridiculous. I mean, at least I did the first 999 to it. Did you see this? It literally has not stopped doing this since the boss fight started. Holy. This is so unfair. I don't know what she keeps also getting hit by, which is kind of unfair. Can you cast healer on yourself? Uh, why didn't you cast heal on yourself? Hello? You heal Numnu, just in case. Well, I'm glad I leveled that up. I'm gonna be real with you, chat. This is one of the most aggressive bosses I've ever seen if you let it get out of control. Holy. Well, I'm glad I know how to damage cancel. That could have been monstrously bad for me. Could you imagine, chat, if I didn't know how to damage cancel, how dead I would be then? It it literally had zero frame cast. <laughs> just constantly did it. It didn't even like build up with an animation. It was just always casting. Holy. Spear orb. Huh? I can't believe this. Ah! Yeah, I can't believe that either. That was cheap. The stage just above us. Let's go. Oh. I literally went to go above us and nothing happened. Uh, did- how much- uh, I have 10 MP, I could probably work with that. 
Oh, plus I might get restored here. The seal's melting. We're not gonna make it. No good. It's too late. Get out of here now. I am Dryan, the tree spirit. The seals on the world's seats have been broken. The continent that sleeps beneath this place will soon rise. Leave now. What about you? I wasn't able to save this palace. I'll go down with it. Idiot. What will that serve? Come, help us save mana. Then it to seal my mana magic. I won't be of much help. You love the dryad. The poofy hair. Don't worry, let's go. Hurry. Well, okay, I'll do what I can. Gain dryad's powers. Oh no, it's rising. Call Flammy. Alright, so our goal is to get our MP back without needing to go back. But we'll see what happens. Mode 7. Trying enemy from Final Fantasy Tactics. Welcome, Calvisham. I do like the new music. We'll listen to it briefly. Enjoy the music. See the head-on view of the dragon. Oh, oh boy. We're basically immediately going back down, which is kind of funny because the game is like, please leave, and I'm like, but I actually need to go back. So we still have much more to do. I think that's enough of the music. Just in case we don't get to hear it later. So what makes this area annoying, as Chad is about to find out, is that these knights can... become immune to magic. But I managed to sneak in a little right at the end. Oh, look at our damage! Uh, let's see. I noticed when we were critting, by the way, did you like we were doing between like 40 damage and 252? Oh, moon energy or something else. Uh, what I'm gonna do... Let's give ourselves generically good weapons. Oops. Jerk. Bendin, this the continent is surface. The fortress is there. Brought troops here to keep the Empire from taking the Mana Fortress. There's an ancient city under the Grand Palace. We must get into it. Emperor Vandal's working from the underworld. This place is full of monsters. The resort isn't fully powered. You need it to stop the Emperor. We'll fight off the Imperial troops. Catch up with those soldiers. You know what? That's good enough. Oh, hello, random soldier. Be careful. Thanks. Anyway, I think we gotta just keep going downwards. I think our goal is... Well, I'm gonna go left first. Guys, come on. This is why I don't run. Like, I'm just, I don't trust them to follow me. Okay, this is promising. Get some extra XP here. Plays the girl. I don't really need anything from treasure chests at this point. But I guess to humor the audience. <laughs> I will go pick this up. Oh. They slid down the waterfall. I don't think I'm going to be weapon upgrading. There might be... Oh, what is this? Okay. Whoa! She took like a million damage. That's not good. I heal her with that. Alright, we need to get out of here pretty much ASAP. Holy, their damage is insane. Oh, I hope I get heal in time. It's slightly too slow. It's fine. We need to get out of here. Please get out of here. 
please stop going backwards to go fight them. Ooh. Man, maybe I should have taken a defense up or something. I was not expect I was not expecting them to hit me for half my health. That's actually pretty crazy. Um I need the sprite alive at some point. Alright, uh, does she have a I think she has a defense magic on, right? Normally I would not consider casting it. What was it? Was it Luminous? I think it was. Oh, of course she's not gonna cast it. So what we're gonna do is I can get a little more MP here. Oh, I might need to change form you for it to be useful because your magic resist is too high. Oh, that's fine then. All right, so what makes this tricky is that there are arbitrary, arbitrary switches I need to hit. So it's very easy to choose the wrong side. So apologies if I don't pick the right side. I think I'm going to have to go back and just heal myself legit in between. Oh, I hate doing this. Wow, I, as I said before, I was not expecting to take that much. I was, you know, thinking like 100, maybe. Please come here, please. Uh, we need to cancel damage or I'm in trouble. There is no way that is not going to basically one-shot me. Let's get out of here. You magics absorb the boy who has no MP. I'm gonna call that genius, genius skill of the day. Only got one from it, so I didn't actually gain anything. Is it left or right? Nope. Nope, oh, it's on the right side, right side. Ooh. I can use the whip as a backup in case I miss it. Well, we, we are not exploring this place. We need to get out of here. Oh, hello. Uh, Was your weakness earth or fire? I think it was Earth when we first fought him. It might be Fire this time. Can I afford to check is the question. I can check. Okay. I'm going to cast it now regardless. Let's go for just Exploder. 3382. That's good. 99 MP. Well, worth 12,000 experience. Oh, is, oh, I'm out of MP. Oh, that's awkward. Uh, Well, I guess we're going to have to go back at some point. Feels, fear is Salamando. Okay, so that was a good call. Another 999, so we gotta do it at least one more time. It's almost dead, I think, at least. Oh, right at the end. That was perfect amount of damage. And we're out of there, chat. Welcome in Parameter. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, these bosses are kind of rough. I was- I knew there was a boss eventually, but as the chat said, sometimes it is just like, oops, suddenly boss. Okay, we got the whip orb. Does that change anything? Look who's here. Prepare to- Enough, Fana. We have no time for these children. Think what the Mana Fortress will do to them. Let's go. Uh, that sounds kind of ominous. Huh. Coming. Oh, I'll get you, you little beasts yet. 
I can't see anything. Let's go. Do I have enough to MP steal? I don't think I do, right? Does it cost one or two? Plus one. All right, so at least I could go neutral, but we need to absorb MP from something. Oh, that could have been really bad. Uh, let's absorb from all three. We need to get out of here. This, this enemy type is horrible. It MP is not bad, actually. Please don't die. How did she take that other last 18 of damage? That's unfair. Please, 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 please come here before you all die. Okay, I got a little bit of MP back. Man, this enemy is horrendous. Can everybody please stop walking into them? You guys are killing me, literally. Uh, I'm gonna tell... I accidentally changed form. Repelled the magic, go through here. Please, 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 please. No! It's not fair. She just gets stunlocked to death. I can't do anything about that. Okay, I'm not reviving her. Not worth it. Alright, so we see a wizard. Wizard works as is. I'm going against the flow here, but that's fine. Oh, let's just see if I get MP back. Oh, I got a lot of MP back. Please escape them. Please escape them. Do whatever you need. I guess I can level ice magic since I'm here. Let's level up. Oh no. Hmm, was there something I was supposed to hit? Oh. The worst chat, I don't remember this dungeon. Uh, we're gonna cancel damage because we need to. Hmm. Run at least a little bit here. <sighs> Alright, let me think, chat. Where do I need to go? Oh, you know what, actually? Maybe I had the right idea. Maybe I wasn't holding... F oh, you know what? I had the right idea earlier. I just walked forward. I'm not hitting a switch there. My bad. We did see it. I just was like, do I have to smack something? I'm like, no, it's fine. Uh, let's get some MP here, I think. Holy, this place is so deadly to us, chat. Like, unreal. How deadly it is. Please don't... Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please move. All right, chat. Oh my gosh, everything that comes towards me, I'm so scared of it at this point. I'm like, please don't kill this character. Oh, HP absorb? That'd be helpful here, actually. Oh, level up. Love to see it. So there's a door here. Num new leveled. Oh, it's a friendly place. Okay, which one's ready? Oh no, I'm missing a weapon orb. Ooh, that's really bad. I don't know where I missed it, chat, but that really sucks. Ooh, I missed a weapon orb somewhere. This is the only one that mattered. <laughs> um, hmm. Okay, well, we're we're in freeform mode, chat. So I wanted Imp Fork before this point, and I was thinking we just didn't have enough money before. I didn't realize we didn't have enough orbs. So, oops. I don't know where I left that at. There, so, we got the boomerang upgrade, but that's not useful. So the reason I wanted this upgraded, by the way, chat, is that this causes balloon, and that would have been like our way to get through this easy. Are any of you a shop out of curiosity? Here's a little boost. Oh, she full heals us. Oh, thank you. When you see Crickcraft in the enemy, it's red, blue, yellow, green. 
Oh, I better write this down, actually. <laughs> right, Chad? I'm not messing around with this. Hold on. It's red, blue, yellow, green. I am so glad we talked to this random soldier. I'm sure I would have been super lost. All right, so we have a way of potentially leveling our magic then a little bit. Question is, do I want to? So that seems like the fastest way to level in the game. Stop it. Stop it. Bad controller. <sighs> Switch controller, please. We're so close. All right, so let's, let's level this up a little more. And let's have her level maybe the might magic a little more. Is that not... It restores you, but doesn't give back your MP. Oh. That kind of sucks. And I'm gonna have to absorb MP here, I think. Alright, well, we still gotten some of it out of the way. We lost some of the girl's MP. I would, wouldn't would you, you... Wouldn't you have thought if you had gotten through the full HP animation that that would have given you MP as well? I definitely thought so. Alright, so... I have no idea what I'm going to do to get through this area then. I think we are in trouble officially. I, I'm going to have to MP spam. So I wanted, I originally wanted, um, I originally, as I said before, wanted the javelin, but I missed it somewhere. I'm really curious where I missed it. I'll have to look it up later. Super unlucky. So one of the dungeons we went through, I must not have taken a, do a door I should have taken. Please don't fight this thing. So we're going to do our best to try to get through this. Yes, that's a one way. I got hit through the wall. Cool. That seemed really unfair. I could kill my own characters to level on them. Guess I could get a couple kills as I go through the dungeon here, maybe. Seriously. I'm gonna now I'm just gonna bully him out of spite chat. <laughs> I don't even need to. But I'm now I'm mad. That's where we can be spell cancel. What a jerk. Crit. Okay. Uh... Coming against the wall preemptively. Coming back through here. Just making sure there's nothing else I gotta go through. So we're gonna go through and probably learn some magic ups here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna double ice them. Then we're gonna double MP absorb once we do another ice. So that way ice is getting even more leveled for the future. And maybe I steal more MP here. Nice. Good level up. So anytime we see one of those, I'm just gonna take this opportunity to level. It's like, what's the worst that happens? I get better spells. Yeah, that feels appropriate. And then we'll get our MP back here. I love, I love the background glitching there for a second. That was cute. I see a switch up there. How do I reach that? Not sure how to reach it. Go the gotta, gotta cancel that damage. <laughs> right, Jack? Gotta cancel that damage. Don't get hit by this. Alright, well, you know what? They started it. I'm gonna go finish it. Nice. 
The worst that happens is we just get even better freeze. And let's get our MP back. Good kill, good kill. Oh, please don't get stuck. So that'll bring us over here. But I didn't hit the switch. So is that good enough? I don't care if he is wall. He, he is not an enemy type I care about, comparatively. Hmm. Oh. Unfortunate. Let's keep going. Well, you know what? We're making it through despite not having what I need. We are just going to MP absorb them right now. Come on, 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 come on. No, don't push them. No, don't push them. Run by them. <laughs> oh my gosh, please don't move the please don't kill please don't move the thing that does like 80% of my health. Don't move it with me. Really prefer for that to not happen. Oh, I feel like I went in a big loop there. That's kind of unfortunate. Alright, let's see what we can damage wise here. Again, on the plus side, we're leveling freeze. There we go, just leveled. Entirely sure what it wants me to do here. Oh, oh, there is just a little switch in between. Okay, cool. Glad there wasn't really a visual cue there. Would have felt bad. Just had to find it, I guess. Holy, let's get out of here. See, so yeah, I might need to use the girl's balloon a little more. Although I need her magic eventually. It's not right now. I got a little time if I need to replace it. Oh, hold on. I accidentally hit one of the switches, which is convenient. We need red, blue, yellow, green. Not open the door down there. A curiosity, what's over here before we go this way? Oh, no, I'm not going that way, never mind. Never mind, we're not going into big loop. Uh, why don't you do whatever you want? Have a wonderful life over there, because I don't want to deal with you. Well, we are instantly casting if I could get away with this. group again, I think. Oh, this is so annoying. She's dead. Oh, I missed... Oh, I missed the switch. That could have been so much worse. I would have had to redo everything there. So now I think I'm at back at this area. Oh, I can't go backwards from here unless I take the other path we saw earlier. Okay, that's fair. Okay. So I think I could very quickly maybe MP steal before he walls. He did it like almost a couple frames before he could do anything. Uh, let's go for MP absorb here. If the girl doesn't get XP, it's not the end of the world. It just gives me less options if bad stuff like this happens, please. Please, please get by this. I'm begging of you. This area is so horrific. Holy, why is it like this? Um. Jeez. Uh, I don't know what to do here. There are too many enemies here, and I can't deal with any of them. I think I'm dead. I survived. Okay. Chocolate. 
<laughs> I'm gonna need it. Oh, please get through, please get through. Oh my gosh, get me out of here. Is all that just for a big, wait, hold on. Didn't I go through the new door? I thought I went through the new door. I went through the same door as last time, that sucks. Because there was a door in the middle, that's the one I thought I entered. That really sucks, because that's just gonna reset the room. Uh, let me think. Yeah, like we already did this. There must have been like, I said that before, I must have taken the wrong door. I had the right idea. I had to hit that switch to open it. Like that was required. Let me think. Do I have to go like backwards from here or something weird? Hmm. Unless it was this path I had to go through? I'm confused. Which path did I take last time? I don't remember. Uh, let's absorb some HP. I was like thinking about it. I was like thinking if I wanted to pull up the VOD familiar. I thought this door was locked. Did I go through the right passageway or something? Because that seems like the wide pass. Maybe, maybe it was this path that unlocked? I, I beg of you to stop running in circles. Yeah. Okay. Well, this looks a little different at least. All right, we're in new territory. <laughs> Followed by, get me out of here, right chat? We're in a subway. For reasons. I don't want to deal with anything here, so I'm just going to keep running. She doesn't want to run because she's dead, so she's actually slowing us down. <laughs> this is kind of unfair. Hopefully I don't need to deal with anything here. I'm just going to run to the other end of the car and try to exit. Anyway, that was an event that just occurred. Uh, check for secrets. So I think this sprite has the most defense of the group, if I'm looking at damage correctly. So the sprite is the only one with armor, I think of the right caliber, because we fully equip this character. And that's why the sprite takes way less damage. Actually, no. Wait, why is the sprite taking way less damage sometimes? Am I just getting unlucky with crits? Oh, I knew there'd be something hidden in there. I'm like, there's no way. Why would they build two of those? Um, hmm, but what did that do? Okay. You know, I say, bro, all you want, bro. I'm not gonna do anything with you. Maybe this is what I opened up? Hey, you. Oh, hey, you. You. I did some nosing around. Seems this kid is the legendary knight. Oh, what a joke. How could it, you have found that blade? Hand it over. Yeah. We're gonna be rich, boss. Shut up and go get it. Chat says if they took the time to deal with the children, they may succeed in the end, maybe. Oh, why was there such a weird pause there? I had to hit confirm to make the text appear. That was weird. Indeed, it's time for another boss. As I said before, there is a surprising number of bosses between us at the end of the game. Like, would you have thought we would have fought three bosses? And we're not even at the Emperor still equivalency? Super Special Deluxe Robot Type 2 with Turbo! Kettle Kin! Alright chat, I'm be real with you. I don't know his weakness. The person who checks weakness is dead. So you know what that means. It's, uh, oops all freeze a clock. I don't want to see what this thing does. I don't want to know. I might actually hit level 8 magic with freeze. Let's see how much damage we're doing here. Let's do a little love tap there. Oh, 999. Nine. Love to see it. Oh, 
Oh, that was convincing. That was convincing, chat. Get out of here. I made it through the hell maze. Get out of my face. <laughs> we defeated Robo. Welcome, Dango. I don't care that she's dead. We're saving items. There we go. Her levels don't matter anymore, chat. So yeah, sadly I missed the javelin, which would have made it our life really easy. Too strong. He's the real knight. What idiot said he wasn't the knight? Let's scram. The dungeon was horrible, definitely compared to the boss for sure. That that's kind of the motto of Secret of Mana. The boss the boss is easy if you know the spell tricks. Surviving a dungeon challenge impossible. I think we're gonna have a death like every dungeon between now and the end of the game multiple times. Yeah. They agree apparently. I'm gonna kill this mostly for XP. Oh my gosh. Oh, that crit though. That's why we keep the power wrist. We did all that just to get here. Holy. I think we gotta go through the double door. Or, yeah, the double door that's down there, I think. Let's just get out of here. We are we are not flying away at this point. We're getting through. Wolves. How much MP do I have? I have an okay amount. Let's see if I can absorb from them. Worst thing that happens is because there's two, I should end up with uh, two MP. Yeah, that's how I kind of view it. This is fine. Ooh, 10 MP, that's huge. Don't you blaze wall me, you jerk. Stop that. All right, let's go through the middle here. She is taking an insane amount of damage. Game, please. Oh, she died instantly. Not much I could do about that. Yeah, you see what I mean? Like, we're... Okay, when we go back to town, I'm gonna go buy armor. I Like, I could go speedrun, not care, through our characters, but... I find that kind of annoying. Oh, no. I think she needs to be alive for this. Oh, how many revives do I have left, too? Yeah, I think she needs to be alive. Which is really, really unfortunate. I think it's... Lucent, right? Plus, I don't know the... I feel like we haven't used Lucent, so rip my MP, by the way. So after this, we have to go back, because there's no way I'm completing the final dungeon with uh, two Fairy Walnuts. That's insane. I'm just going to assume it's Lucent Beam, because we haven't used it yet, and I know we use it at some point to do one of these. It's not. Okay, well, then give me a hint have the sprite maybe help absorb these so that way the sprite lives and she's almost dead gnome's magic will work um is it gem missile also we have dryad by the way but i literally won't use it at all it's pointless I mean, she could technically revive people, but, like, she's the one getting one shot, so, like, what's the point of that? <laughs> so, whatever. Uh, I guess we'll heal. Let's see if it's gem magic? Or a magic gem missile? Whatever it's called. It was. Heard a distant sound? Oh, no. I am so dead. Oh, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Please heal me. Oh, you actually got your MP back when we killed the boss. Oh. Oh, no, 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 because I'm very walnutted. Never mind. Oh, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I am ultra dead. Oh, she got one shot. Game, please. Are you really going to force me to leave? This sucks.
I have to do that to negate the damage. Please get through. And he took like 200 and died instantly because he got petrified. Um, I'm going to say the dungeon is no longer doable because I don't have enough cups of wishes. That really sucks. All because like I didn't know what element it was. That really sucks. We're going to go back. I did not want to do this, but I think we have to. Stupid, uh, Petrify. Petrify, I think, did, like, half our, I think it half our health, and then we took 100, so we just died instantly. Super, super unfortunate. Uh... Ah, uh, there we go. I'm gonna go to Gold Town, see if I can get better armor for the girl. And then buy our final items here. We're, we're taking the safety strat. I'm so sad that we did not find the other javelin orb or else I'd be having a much easier time. Yeah, there's nothing else I could level up. So sad. Oh, unless it's already there. Wait, hold on. Was that being dumb and I had it the whole time? Oh, I was being dumb and I had it the whole time. Never mind. Player dumb. I misunderstood what the upgrade sign was. I thought it meant it was upgrading to Imp Fork. Whoops. That would have been useful earlier. Oh, well. I forgot. I'm like, wait a minute. I feel like... I was like... I felt like I got the chest of Matango. I'm like, I'm pretty sure everything else was a boss. Oops. Um, let's get a Dragon Helm for her, and then probably Battle Suit for her, if I can afford it. And I think we're good. Now we just need to go to the inn. I still don't regret coming here, though. I was going to wait until after we had done the other dungeon, but if I'm taking, like, three bazillion damage, it's not worth it. Actually, speaking of which, where's the end? Is this the end? This is the end. Okay. So my bad, chat. That's what you get for not playing the game. So yeah, we're going to come in with way higher defense. So the worst thing that happens is the guy will use the battle suit, because he has a different armor with him. I'm going to give it to the girl so she hopefully stops getting one shot. She is getting like crazy deleted by these enemies. Because we have not been upgrading her for the most part. So she had the dragon helm already. That's unfortunate. She did not have the battle suit though. That is a pretty significant increase in defense. So I wasted a little bit of money, but that's okay. So I could get the boy another armor upgrade, potentially. If I hadn't saved with the armor sale, I might have been able to afford this. But I mostly just want her to not die. The boy is the least likely thing to get hit, just from the standpoint that I'm going to be controlling him, whereas the AI is going to be walking around as her and she's just going to explode randomly. Yeah, so I think I would have been able to afford that normally. Unfortunate. Battle suit costs 30,000. I could technically move her to the flower suit to give the boy the battle suit. It's not the worst idea ever. Mm, do I care about her power wrist? You know what? Whatever. We'll just do it as is. Yeah, the boy has like 100 HP over everybody else, so that's probably fun. So we got all of our walnuts. If I need to, I could go back to Javelin. As long as I... So the thing is, is I don't want to get a kill with the Javelin. Or else I'm going to be really sad. Or not Southeast, Southwest, damn. Oh, I messed up where it was. Uh...
How do I correct where I was? There we are. So I think as long as we could get roughly to where we were before, it shouldn't be too bad. If we have to go through that whole dungeon again, I'm going to be so sad. I really hope that if we just go over here, we could get there. As I said before, the boys' HP was mostly fine. It's just the girls. Ah, right, never mind. I think we could get here. Good, 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 good. So since we have control over the boy, for the most part, he should not get hit by stupid stuff. Uh, so we, we did the orb thing here. I'm just going to verify that it stayed broken. Looks like it did. So let's leave. We'll check the other side. It might be like I need two of the... Please stop attacking them. We might need two in order to go forward. Why is she getting stuck? Stop it. <laughs> right, chat? Stop it. What are you... <sighs> You know, they're making this way harder than this should be. They really are. All right, can all of you just, like, knock it off and stop, like, walking up and attempting to assault everything? Let's change your action grid. Go to, like, here. It was useful earlier. It is no longer useful. Do not approach them, please. Come over here and stay over here. Thank you, because I don't need to actually pull them if they don't walk into them. Okay, what is your weakness? Are you the one? Do I need shade or something? Shade or Lumina? Undine? Oh. Wouldn't have expected that, to be honest. Uh, HP Absorb? Nice. Okay. So yeah, her taking 100 less damage should be pretty big for us. She got almost quadruple defense. Um, what did that do for us? Oh, maybe it opened in the previous room. Oh, I want to run so bad. Yeah, it might have opened something up here. Okay. Uh, I need the sprite. Because I need the sprite, I'm just gonna reset the room. Come on. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Behave yourself. Yeah, if only one passes this way, I could go through, so let's go this way. Don't you dare hit those swords. Don't you dare. All right, Chad, don't you dare. <laughs> I'm not fighting those. Okay. I don't know, is this Earth? Sylphid? Okay. Maybe it's going sort of in the order that we got them then? Is it Air Blast? I don't know. Okay, it was. Where do I'm just guessing, Chad. I have like a 50-50. It's not gonna be like silence or anything. It has to do damage. Alright, so now that there's multiples here, can I just absorb your MP real quick? I think through Law of Minimums, I have to get enough back on this. More or less. Oh, oh where's the thing I need to whip? Where's the thing I need to whip? <laughs> Unless this is an exit. Oh, this is an exit. Okay. It's like, get me out of this room. Listen, we're, we're in secret of auto panic mode. We're like, we do not want to see what these enemies do if given a chance. No, thank you. Um, I guess I could briefly use the trident to show you what I wanted to do earlier. So, one, it gives like a big stun. Two, it's long range sniping. Oh, there's nothing in here. Cute. But hopefully three, it just balloons random enemies. I don't know what she was stuck on there. That was weird. Yeah, we did that to hit a switch. Cool. Yeah, it's just much easier for me to at least use this to knock them down. As I said before, when I played through the game casually, this was like my main weapon. I did not bother using the sword with the boy because I was like, why would I ever want to get close to this monstrosity dungeon? Do you know what I mean, Chad? Like, why would I ever? Like, you're out of your mind. Come on. 
Come on. Time to go away. Yeah, this is where I learned. I just like to snipe. It just it just works. There's the balloon. So it'll say spaced out. So it's basically like you get the girl's balloon magic, which is somewhat useful, but you don't need MP for it. On top of that, the weapon is just generally useful. What was the point of this area? Am I missing something? It feels like we should have been able to go up there, right? Uh, let's reset the room. So we went through here. Was there like... No, there's nothing to do over here. <sighs> Worse, right as I was about to touch the exit. Worse, that's how it always works. Hmm. So I need to go to the right somehow. I space out. Can I just say she's getting brutalized? Huh. What did I not do? Oof. No, no, don't turbo car me. Alright, let's pause. Let's think for a moment. Is there a switch somewhere I did not press? Check one more time. Did I miss something very simple? I must have missed something simple. Okay, so if we look at the left side there, that seems like there should be stairs there. I think we could all agree. So maybe I just didn't hit a switch. Let's just go backwards slightly. What did I not do on this floor? Let's reset. We went over here, but there was nothing to do in here, though. Maybe that's not true on the other side. Let's go take a look. I didn't look over here. No, nothing to do still. Hmm. Oh. Uh. Doors. Alright, uh, right, that explains it, right, child? I was like, something, something was not adding up. Are you gonna be like Salamando or something? Lumina. Oh, now you're the Lumina one. Whatever. Well, we leveled up Sylphid. Not that it matters, because I never intend to use the magic ever again. Okay, so I think presumably what'll happen is one of the torches will move, and then a staircase will form. Oh, that was a perfect space out. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't you dare kill them. I don't want to get kills. Actually, speaking of which, does that matter anymore? Let me look at my weapon levels. I'm level 5. I have Excalibur. If Imp's Fork levels, I have five things that are 400. Actually, I think it doesn't matter anymore. I think I have the bare minimum no matter what I do here. Ser Wait, seriously? That was just the one door? Oh, that is so rude if that's true. Let's see. Is that all I needed to do? Wow, they took an insane amount of damage there. Please don't die. Ooh. Ooh, that was so close, chat. I'm glad I cast that when I did. Yeah, there's the staircase. There we go. Come on. Let me get through. I could level my fist ma- or my- not my fist magic, my fist up a little if I'm not sure. I guess there's no downside to leveling fist here. Dodge me. There we go. Because the worst thing that happens is if I'm somehow slightly off in my memory of how much we need. Then I have a little extra with fists there. Oh, yet there's still another staircase that's missing. Damn it, chat. Where did I miss the other orb? I thought I thought I went to the right side, but there was no orb. Was there yet another orb hidden somewhere? If so, that's most unfortunate. Okay, let's try this again. Where is the last orb? Oh, 
okay. I didn't go this way before. I thought they all connected, but apparently not. I'm so worried I'm about to explode here. I got the sword orb. Oh, I'm gonna take big damage here. Sprite died, unfortunate. Another sword orb. Numnu doesn't see the... Oh, okay, so I see what happened. So it wasn't on the right side that was useful to me. I had to go through the middle. Got it, got it. <sighs> oh, that was so risky to do. I don't know why I did that. But, but it doesn't... So I went here and died for no reason. Cool. <laughs> Secret of Auto, please. Um, where is the last orb? I went through the doors on the left. I'm gonna do this just to reset them. Maybe get one more kill on Fist just because. There we go. Speaking of which, what are we looking at Fist level wise? 120, nice. It's like another seven points for safety. So I thought we got this one. So where is the other one then? Hmm. I need the sprite alive at some point, so that's a cup of wishes we just lost because we took an insane amount of damage. There seems to be like a passageway on the right there. How do we get to that though? Is it like something stupid like it didn't scroll and I didn't see the whip? No, how do we reach this? Oh, puzzle dungeon. Where is your other entrance? Is it something like I missed it over here so I couldn't reach it? Huh? Why did you walk into them? AI, please. I'm begging you. <laughs> Do not make this dungeon harder than it needs to be. Please stop running into them. Okay, so we missed one. Two. Total. So let's revive the sprite. She unfortunately activated one of them. There's not much I could do about that now. So as long as I have a cup of wish, I think we're fine. What kind of thing is here? One downside about her in particular is that she's never really able to recover her MP. Oh, so you're the Salamando. That makes more sense. Um... Oh, please don't be the girl's fire magic. That would actually be atrocious. Um... I don't know. Lava wave? I don't remember what we didn't use prior to this point. Oh, that was a good guess. That was a good guess. Because the girl technically had magic too. I was just assuming the game did not want me to use the girl's magic. Alright, so hopefully now I can use her magic to heal and then we can move forward. Let us cancel the damage the sprite is about to attain. Go, 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 go. Get out of here, get out of here. Get out of here! <laughs> no, there's so many bad enemies. Come on. There we go. <laughs> We're at the game's mercy chat, because we gotta get our AI partners to not be stupid, which is, um... Almost impossible. I like how they took all that damage, and then they... that they screen warped and took more damage. That's cool. I saw that. Please don't activate these. I beg of you, please don't activate these. Good, okay, now, this one looks like shade. I'm just gonna use shade based off the color. Let's assume it's dark force. Yeah. I mean, I guess I could have guessed by the background color of the temple which magic to use if I didn't have analyzer. Oh, I spaced them out, good. Guys, guys, come on. There we go. <laughs> They're running against the wall, but that also stopped me from moving. Uh, we're gonna use one more cure, and then we're gonna get going. So now, hopefully everything is out of the way, and we could just go straight to the next area. No! <laughs> Come on, I just healed! <laughs> no, this is so unfair. I need them to unfrosty. The whip tangled them, which is always nice. Gotta reheal, which is annoying. Oh, I'm actually in big trouble here.
man, this game is super unforgiving with enemy placement. Let's pull them through here. Sprite's already almost dead. Sprite is one of the most armored characters, by the way. Reminder. Holy, the damage is insane. Oh, yeah, speaking of which, what was your battle armor on the sprite? Were you just like the normal yellow plate? I just want to verify. Alright, so we we can maybe upgrade them to magical armor when the boy gets the battle suit to give them a little more defense. Oh, I missed the throw. That's really bad. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Goodbye them. Goodbye them. Goodbye them. Okay. Ooh, what a dungeon chat. Oh, I spaced out the wrong one, but that's fine. It's fine. We'll keep going. Man, all this just to get to this floor chat. What a brutal dungeon. What an absolutely brutal dungeon. Taking the mental break. I needed the pause. <laughs> it's like, do you blame me, chat? Like, there is so much going on to get here. If we die, I'm going to be so sad because it's so much progress we would have lost. I don't know where to go. I mean, that opened a passageway, but I want to take a look around first. Oh, I love the balloon so much, chat. So we can activate this one. Does it matter which one we use? Uh, I don't know where the whip. Oh, wait, what? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I out of bounds myself by accident. You've got to be kidding me. <sighs> you've got to be kidding me. We were so far in this dungeon. Okay, can I flam me out of here? Nope. I think I have to completely restart. That is so stupid. I don't think I can reach what I need to reach. Um, can I do this to move myself at all? No. Damn chat, I hit the right side. Um, I don't think there's a way I can glitch myself to move. Can I charge up a weapon and maybe get out of the wall? Let's see chat, we're gonna try to salvage this. If not, I'm gonna be really sad. Let's charge up. And let's hope that this moves me out of the wall. No, I'm not able to move out of the wall. I could see myself. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, maybe there is a way I could do it. Maybe I do this? No, that didn't work. Wait, no, no, wait. There still might be a way. There still might be a way. Hold on. If I do level five and then swap, is this good enough? Let's see if we can somehow unstuck ourselves. No, we're really hard stuck. Damn, chat, we gotta restart. That is so unfortunate. I gotta reset. That sucks so much. Well, good thing we saved earlier. Yeah. Welcome to Secret of Mana. Needless to say, Chad, I'm not a fan of the final dungeons. <laughs> For various reasons. Alright, so we gotta go through that whole process again. At least this time we saved with, uh, what's it called? We saved with one half of the dungeon done. Yeah, that's a huge yikes indeed. Like, look how easy that was to do, by the way. Like, I didn't even want to do that. I was just kind of like... Seeing if I could get the whip to react because they weren't like staying near the whip and doing anything So I noticed that it started doing it there And then unfortunately Did not get the intended result Oh, let's get out of here So we got to go through that whole first floor again Big sigh Alright, here's what I'm gonna do, chat. I'm gonna I'm going to quick save. 
when we get to that other floor again, because I really don't want to repeat the dungeon. Oh, I just remember their action sets are going to be wrong because I fixed that earlier and I didn't remember. <sighs> uh. So let's do this again. So this was Earth, I think. Oh, wait. Well, maybe I remember from the first time we were here because we did technically partially do the dungeon. Why did she take so much damage? Oh, she didn't have the battle suit on. That makes more sense. Unfortunate, I will say. You know what I'm gonna do? Give me frost weapon. And then we're gonna use a chocolate on her. Move. Please don't get stuck. So things go wrong, maybe I could buy them. This one was... I don't remember, was this Silver Undine? I don't remember what this color is. Could be Undine. If it is, it's Magic Absorb at least. Yeah, it is Undine. Okay. On the plus side, most of our magic, we didn't lose any magic XP, we just lost time having to redo it. So let's get out of here. Uh, this should be fun. Don't need to do anything here. Come on! What are they doing? Yeah, I swear. I swear they're trying to get hit on purpose. I'm getting tilted by them, for sure. My game, please. I don't know why they were just casual walking instead of running right at the end there, even though I had to hit the run button towards the end. I guess they have a bit of a delay. Please don't die. We're gonna HP absorb everything as we need to, or I'm gonna die. Okay, that's better than nothing. Please let the sprite through. Please don't get stuck. Please, I'm begging you, game. Please. Just let me get through the staircase. Holy, these are so much harder than the boss battles. You can't tell me otherwise. Okay, well that's why we leveled Cure Magic, by the way, in case we have our allies too dumb to get through the stairs. This game would have greatly benefited from the screen not locking you. Please don't die. Please don't die. Uh, 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 what are you doing? Don't do that. Dying is banned. I cancelled his getting hit animation, I noticed, which was interesting. You know what? No, 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 no. We're not even gonna cure them here. We're just gonna go through the door, then we're gonna cure. That way I don't get stuck out near the wolves. Now the downside is because I didn't do it in the intended order. I don't remember what this is. Like, is this Sylph? I don't remember. I know we have to do all of them, it just, the colors didn't stick with me. Shade I remembered, Lumina I remember. I'm assuming this is Sylphid? Okay. We guessed that it was... What did I guess last time? I don't think I did Lightning Bolt. I'm assuming I just did Air Blast. Alright, let's get out of here. See how they keep getting... Okay. What I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do a quick save right here. I need them to stop doing whatever it is that they're doing here. I'm gonna change their AI behavior. They keep, like, facing the enemy and not moving, and that's what's causing me to get hit by stuff. So what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna tell them to full-on retreat. Let's see if this stops them from... running. Or stops stops them from stop running, because they keep going near enemies, and then they just don't do anything. So let's see if this works. Uh... I don't think that cancelled the damage. I think I'm about to take damage. Oh, they did cancel the damage. Really? Screen transitions stop magic? 
Huh. Uh. Well, you know, I you know, I would think as I would assume going to a new area would cancel damage, but not literally warping this, wrapping the screen like that. That's very interesting, actually. Huh. Oh well. Let's go this way for now. Game. Controller. Stop. 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 I'm not touching the controller. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just like, game please. There we go. We got Sylphid back up to level one. Now we're in sync with what we did before. Uh, let's see. So Lucent Beam, the other side should be Shade. So let's go across this time. No, see, they're still doing the thing where they won't let me move. I don't know why. I think I'm gonna have to time, like, runs to make sure that they behave themselves. Also, didn't we get, like, two sword orbs the last time we came through here? Why is it different now? Do I have to hit a little switch first? We did hit this first, technically. So we just need... What? Oh, there's an invis... Oh, there's an invisible wall here. Oh, I see. Right chat? Oh. Look, wow. What is what is this invisible wall? What the heck? Well, they're asleep at the wheel with that invisible wall. <laughs> this one is special. Holy. How come the sword orb is here now? What's the mark? Uh, okay. I'm gonna go with a big question mark. Maybe if I missed orbs, that's what those side rooms are for. So I still don't have the ability to get over there. Uh, what, what did I not do? Did I miss something on the bottom floor again? Yeah, I think I didn't go through here. This is definitely Salamando. Why did you run into them, game? Please! I'm begging you, stop fighting them. I don't want to fight these. These enemies are horrible. Go over here, behave yourself, stop running into them and activating them. Thank you. I'm not dealing with Stone Saber, chat. It's just horrendous. You saw what happened with Stone Saber. I basically die in one hit. Like, no, 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 no. We're not dealing with that. Okay, so now I opened up the other side. Yeah, so a lot of, unfortunately, as I mentioned before at the beginning of the game, a lot of the game ends up being management of the AI versus actually fighting the enemies, which is definitely a big shame, because this is a lot more fun with like human players where, you know, you have coordination and you don't just run into walls like a big idiot. So <laughs> when you have to deal with the AI trying to get them to follow you in a certain areas, it's like, man, there we go. We're gonna go over here just to make sure that they behave themselves. I'm gonna run so that they don't attack. We're gonna use shade and then we're gonna make some progress. There we go. I did evil gate by accident. That is not the right spell. I mean, I guess we saw what it did briefly. Oh wait, that still counted? Oh. Maybe it's just the right element in general. Hmm. Okay. Right. More you know, I guess. All right, so we need to get MP back on the sprite at some point. What can I hit for MP is the question. I made a moment of hesitation and took like a million damage. I think this should be good. Let's... Do something like this. Cool. 17 MP is huge. It's pretty much all of it back. All right, so we're going to do a safety save once I get through here. Speaking of which, back to Javelin for a little bit. I need these guys off of me. Please don't combo me. Okay, they behave themselves. Oh. 
Our allies are actually helping. That's okay. We didn't level javelins. So it's just bonus XP. We're running by the sword. Okay. I'm going to safety save because I don't feel like redoing this dungeon because of a bug. Alright, so what did I, what could I have done over here to potentially whip into? Uh-huh. See, like, I stood over here, but I didn't see anything whippable, which had me confused. How did that not kill, by the way? Why can I not target her? There we go. There we go. So I need... I uh, Wait, why are they up there? <laughs> why are they not following me, chat? I need them to not get stuck. Um... Okay, try this again. I need her magic, actually. So this is kind of annoying that they keep stunlocking her here. I'm gonna whip you. I'm gonna whip you again. I'm gonna whip you again. I'm gonna whip you possibly again. I'm gonna charge my whip. <sighs> okay, so I just need to figure out what to do in this room, and then I think we're good. Like, we are really close to the end, just for clarity. Like, we're, like, one boss, I think, for beating this dungeon. But the game needs to stop being mean to me for a little bit. Thank you. So we leveled up the fist, just in case. So it should be... 129, that's even better than before. So we have safety levels on the fist. What do I need to do here? See, I'm confused why these posts are here if there's nothing I can do with them. Do you know what I mean? I'm gonna do another safety save. So what am I missing here? Where does it want me to go? Oh, yeah, cool. Thanks, camera. Thanks, camera. Would've been nice if I could see that from our other position. <laughs> right, chat? That that would have been helpful to see earlier, I'm just saying. Yeah, see, I went to the other side looking for it. Are you Luna? Do we even have a Luna damage spell, or does it not matter? Maybe I just literally magic absorb it? On the plus side, magic ab absorb is leveling. So we should at least get a decent amount of MP back when we use it. I mean, obviously, if they don't have anything that we could steal, we're not going to get a lot back. But at least we should always gain stuff if we do this. Yeah, see, I used one, gained two. We did this. Now, presumably, we could do something on this side, which we couldn't do before. Yeah, we need to we're just gonna we're just gonna do a quick little reset listen i'm not dealing with stone saber i despawned him by doing that i'm absolutely not dealing with him please get please get through here please get through here thank you oh, 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 oh. bad game bad game there we go <laughs> oh something weird almost happened there again i would have been so sad so oh we're getting straight into a cutscene. Um, what is your weakness? Let's let's take some time. I'm gonna start with ice. We're gonna go from there. Oh, 15 doesn't have a lot of MP, so we definitely shouldn't MP absorb. Weak to fire. Okay. So then we're gonna do some exploder then. Actually, since this thing is going to die, let's make sure we don't have a, a javelin equip. I can leave the fist equip if I really wanted to, but I should probably have this equip. Uh, so, it doesn't have a lot of health, at least. Oh, 
sorry, animation. How far are we from leveling Salamando? Not that far. Okay. And she died instantly, because of course. Uh, a couple wishes her in a moment. Again, it's really unfortunate the character that dies instantly is the one that has the revive magic. I think this should kill. Got Javelin Orb. No new level. Curiosity, how much money do we have? Do we have enough to get another super armor? We have enough for a super armor and walnuts. All that just to come up here. Let's undo this magic. So we did this, but now I'm questioning myself. What do we do after this? Hmm. Oh, maybe I just go back through the doors again? You know what? Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Since I'm not sure, why don't we just go back and get our healing as needed? Can we do anything to level her magic at all? Maybe get another one of the moon energies just because. Let's get some let's get some energy chat. Ooh, there we go. Big damage. So let's go see if we can upgrade our sword. And we can leave at any time that we don't feel like fighting these things. Good damage. Question here. So, 30, so we have 8,000. I potentially want to upgrade Excalibur just for damage purposes. I don't think this is the enemy type I want to fight. Let's get through here. I could kill the wolves. These guys seem to give about 3,000. Let's get a couple kills and then we'll just fly out of here, I think. Oh, hello. Random chest. Shadow Zero. Uh, okay. We got a Final Fantasy Adventure cameo. Cool. That's random, by the way. <laughs> Ooh. Our damage is so good with the with the lunar magic already. Yeah, so let's kill the whole room here and then we'll leave, I think. I'm gonna absorb MP. Use this to negate damage. So that's cool. We got a rare cameo. I don't even think I saw that when I first played the game, for sure. Got a free kill. I want them to actually spawn more wolves so I can get more MP, but we'll see what happens. I mean, at least you can see our damage is actually decent. <laughs> so I'm mostly just ensuring that we can get what we need here. So 44,000 is pretty good. Uh, anything else I want to do here? I guess we'll kill one of you. We'll kill these two, just to make sure we have enough cash. Because we need to upgrade our weapons, because for safety reasons. I don't think I technically need it to beat the game. But obviously you've seen things could go wrong very quickly, case in point. GA leveling is useful. Potentially that's one more MP I have for the final dungeon. So we're going to leave, come back. Can I really not hit this thing? Game, please. There we go. So let's go back to the gold kingdom with all this extra gold and let's see what we could get. So I think we now have to go back into the temple. I think technically we don't have... Forgot how to go southeast, northwest. 
I think technically from our perspective, uh, we don't have the 8th seed seal yet, so we have to go back and unlock it. Kinds of things. Uh, why am I not seeing the gold island? Oh, we went southeast. Am I like beer? Okay, I was like slightly not lined up with it. That's fine. So we're gonna rest, get our MP back. We're gonna get one armor for the girl. Or for the boy, I mean, and then we're good. We're gonna make sure we get our fairy walnuts and stuff first. So it's gonna cost 30,000, so I have 1,500 to upgrade the swords at some point. And I don't need to do that technically until after this dungeon at most. So we have one more opportunity to get cash before now in the final boss. As otherwise, chat, when we're going in that final dungeon, I do not want to come out for any reason. We will we will try to persevere. Because as you can imagine, weird things have happened. Oh, you know what I should have tried when we soft locked? Maybe escape rope would have still technically worked. I didn't think about that until just now. I blame being really tired. I was woken up at like 6.30 this morning for work. It's not my normal working hour. So I'm not like fully thinking ahead on some of the stuff. Yeah, sorry about that, John. I might have been able to save the otherwise soft lock. Right, so I want the battle suit for sure. The boy will wear it. So I still have the other equipment too. The sprite slash num new. We'll get the hand-me-down. They're already decently equipped because of circlet at least. And the ring. Give them another 30 or so defense. Might make a difference. We're gonna sell our leftovers. Declutter our inventory slightly. So we have 1800 or so in order to upgrade the sword to its final capacity. Oh, and we didn't sell the dragon helm on top of that. Okay, so we have even more cash than I thought. So I forgot we did that after we saved. Uh, where was the... Was Watts here? Somewhere? He might have been. Let me think. Is he, like, bottom left? He might have been bottom left. Yeah, there he is. So let's go see if we can upgrade the sword now, just because. In case we need to do damage with sword. This is going to be our only boss weapon, because I don't feel like grinding the other weapons at all. So I got one upgrade there. So if we had one more... Sword Orb, we could get the final upgrade. For now. But two upgrades here is a pretty big damage increase. So we have 95 in attack, interesting. I'm just curious how much of a damage difference this is compared to everything else. So fist is half. Spear is actually not too bad. The the whip actually got upgraded to 89. So funny enough, the the girl's axe and the and the whip from Numnu is uh, on par with the weapon we had now with the sword. So literally, those weapons were completely better until just now. Also, I think that's a big reason why I didn't bother with sword when I played this game. Be real with you. Like, why is it only now on par with the other ones? Like, oops. Okay. So we're making progress. I didn't game over, we only saw flocked. So at least we can look forward to that, I guess. <laughs> we still haven't game overed. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to the southwest. So fortunately, we are just constantly going back between two points. I don't feel like figuring out where other shops are relative to us. And then I think what we could do from here is... We could go straight to the throne... To try to get the seed back. So all this chat, I think, was to just go and get the seed recovered. I think. Looks kind of odd.
the Emperor, but he's... what the... Hey, now there's an exit behind the stage! So we can't do anything with the Emperor, but apparently something is weird. Oh, nothing's happening. I apparently can interact with the seed from behind, which I don't think is normal. So we'll count that as another bug. You made it. Did you beat the Emperor? I'm afraid so. We'd rule the world if we had the Mana Fortress. We? Who else is here? Uh-oh, chat. Thanatos. Aha. Long time no see, little one. Where is Dialog? Is he safe? Of course. He's just about to become my new body. What are you up to? Never you mind. Now, Thanatos, to the fortress. Revenge is so sweet. Bye-bye forever. I like how she said bye-bye forever and then she fights us anyway. What a liar, chat. What a liar. Anyway, I don't know what her weakness is, but you know what her real weakness is? It's always freeze. Listen. We level this thing up. We're gonna take advantage of this for sure. Drink you down. I guess we can try to check what her weakness is for real. Let's learn, I guess. And I'm still probably gonna spam freeze in the meantime. Nothing's really gonna change here. Texas. <laughs> right, chat, now I'm just mad. This really made me go through that dungeon. 3,400 health, okay. I'm gonna let the damage fall just to make sure we can hurt. 69 MP, 20,000 20, XP, 1,400 gold total. Oh no, you pig need me. Anyway. Not do a lot of damage there. Can I MP absorb? That'd be kind of funny, actually. Nah, I didn't do enough. Uh, how about you stall slightly? Why don't you do this? Wow, her damage is terrible. Are you really gonna force me to use a berry walnut here? That is so sad. Can we all agree, chat? This boss is way easier than the other ones. If only she did actual real fire damage, we would have been done. Oh well. I think the fight's basically over. Do we do so I need to do sets of four of these, more or less. And I can slip in some strikes every now and then just to add damage, even if I'm pigmatized. That's so sad that made me waste a walnut on that. So if I had stacked melee damage, I could have maybe saved us making another trip for the Fairy Walnut, but whatever. Way to go! Got Whip Warp. Okay. What the? Thanatos, why? Oh. We're still not done, huh? Okay. <laughs> right, chat? O okay. Damn, this place has a lot of bosses. <laughs> right, chat? Have are you keeping track? How many have we killed? Is this the fourth or fifth one? We're still going. Holy. We're gonna hit the switch. Gastar! He dot dot dots. <laughs> Is it Gastar or... Using my ancient magic, I've created a living, fighting machine. How utterly evil. Uh, how about how utterly dead? Let's spam some freeze here. <gasps> Use wall. Uh, dispel magic? 
Yeah, there we go. Ooh. Oh, I barely dodged. I barely dodged that. That could have been so bad. That could have been so bad, chat. Wait, hold on. I used to spell magic. Why didn't that work? Hello? Are you being serious with me? Why didn't that work? Hello? I hit dispel magic. Does that not get through wall? Oh, that is really unfortunate. If we have to do this battle legit... Oh no, okay, we're good. <laughs> like, Chad, I'm like, no, 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 no. Oh, come on. Come on. That was literally... Oh, that was the frame that was supposed to hit him. I swear it was. That's so unfair. Well, this character is now wasting our time. Well, fortunately, at least I can do this and then do maybe this to cast faster. What a troll. Just immediately, like, I swear I got one spell in and then he's just like, I'm immune. Oh, uh, are you not gonna dispel? Please, thank you. Yeah, I don't care if you hit the bull, you can do whatever. Game, please. Wh why didn't it dispel? Game, please. Does dispel not work on repel or something weird and it's just a timer thing? If so, that is really unfortunate. Can't undo wall. Oh, now it tells me. Thank you, game. Okay. Uh, we are in big trouble because I am not geared for melee. We just have to kind of keep checking when it's vulnerable again. Yeah, that would have been nice for it to have told me, but the dialogue was so lagged. Oh yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm going to safety heal myself. We need to spell damage this or we're not winning this fight. Like, I do so little damage. Uh, I think I got hit by freeze there, which sucks. Okay, his magic faded. Ah, right, so let's go ahead and heal again. I'm just gonna keep checking to see if we can get through. I did not get through. Might be able to quickly shrink her to prevent this, I'm not sure. I think it said the magic faded. Maybe maybe it's targetable now. <laughs> there we go, chat. Come on. Nope. Somebody else's magic faded. Uh what do we do? Is the question. So she's unconscious. I do like literally no damage. This is with, like, fully upgraded weapons. Hmm. How do I recover this? Is there some other way I can dispel this somehow that I don't remember? Can I cast wall on myself to hit the enemy? Does that work? Like, we gotta start thinking outside the box, because I don't know what we're gonna do if we don't do that. Alright, so let's find out the hard way, I guess. So she needs to be able to cure us. Cure you. Please cure. Please cure. Please cure, thank you. Alright, so if I do this... Oh, he's off screen, so... Oh, I can't target my own... I can't target my own characters with it. Good idea, but I just realized I can't do it. Alright. Thank you, game. I don't care if I heal the enemy at this point. I'm gonna do that to dodge the damage, maybe. It was a good dodge. I just need to know when this thing is targetable. The sprite died. Oh, he's targetable now. Oh, of course he's targetable now. <laughs> sprite dies, now targetable. Game, please. Holy. Oh, really unfortunate battle here. I'm not gonna lie. Please don't cast wall. Please don't cast wall, I beg of you. Come on. Come on. Man.
I don't know what to do. I don't know how to recover from this. We got... Unlucky in the sense that I didn't remember this boss had wall. I guess I'm just gonna stall for a long period of time because like I can't fight the boss. There's no point. It has like a thousand something health. I'm doing 40 something a strike. Like it's not going to work. Uh, let's see. Well, since I am going to have to get walnuts anyway, let's give it to Chie. We'll leave one for the sprite. So hopefully we can just burst. So we're going to let time actually pass in a moment. I'm doing this just to increase the number of heals that I have. Okay, we're going to test the waters. Let's see if you're targetable now. You are not. Oh, this is so sad, chat. All I need to do is just do, like, a little bit of damage. The best I could really do is kind of charge up and pray at this point. Like, we did 63. Like, I think chat would agree. That is just not an acceptable amount of damage. We could double check to see how much HP he has. I guess, technically. How much HP do you have if I'm allowed to target you with Sylphid? I'm not sure if you reflect Sylphid. We'll find out in a moment. You did recall the magic. I'm gonna do this and run up here. I mean, I have nothing better to do, so I'm gonna try to swipe every now and then. Alright, so let's run over here, and then we're gonna go downwards. Like, I'll do the boss sort of the way it's intended. But I would really love to be able to target this boss soon. So if nothing else, we are gradually racking damage. I would like to not have to beat the boss this way, though, if we can avoid it. I think maybe there he might have been targetable. Let's, let's see if he's targetable. We'll use Analyst. Because the worst thing that happens is it's a character that always spends one MP to check. How is it not on screen? Game, please. How much more on screen does this character need to be? Game, please. Thank you. Okay, now we get to play the game. You had 28 health. 2800, let's go. Oh, there we go. As I said before, that one's gonna take an eternity if we went the other way. Alright, so we gotta drop combo at some point. So let's drop it here. 999. So we managed to trick him into the charging animation to stop him from using wall, which I'm okay with. I'm absolutely okay with this. Yeah, we're doing on the fly, how do you fix the boss strategies. I didn't quite do max damage there, but we're wrecking damage. Okay, I did 2261. There we go. Oh, get me out of this boss fight. <laughs> right, chat? Horrendous. Alright, I, I have to say I'm not a fan of the fact you can't get rid of wall. Holy. I mean, I did, like, 500 in physical, so I saved myself, like, two spell casts. But, ugh, get out of here. Spirit orb, whatever. They activated the Mana Fortress! This place is sinking! Here we go, chat. More Mode 7. This music's kind of nice. 
So you might notice... There's the Mana Fortress. We just have to go find it later. <sighs> Southwest. I do like this music, so we'll listen to it a little bit as I fly around. So believe it or not, Chan, we still have a, a bit more before we could get to this dungeon. I could show you what happens if we go here, though. Oops. Apparently I won't. How do I... There's like a... There we go. I have to hit the ascend button while close. So I'll show you what happens if we go here now. We can't get in. Let's leave for now. We get seizured. So chat to no one's surprise... You can, you can glitch into there and skip whatever we're about to do. So what we're going to do tonight, since that was an exhausting dungeon, I'm going to do what we need to do to do the final dungeon. And we're going to go ahead and save somewhere so we can redo this. Welcome, Black Spidey. Hope you're doing well. So the game doesn't necessarily tell us what to do here, which is a bit unfortunate. But essentially, the theory behind it is that because there's a magic barrier there, we need to be able to clear the barrier. So if you remember from Final Fantasy Adventure, there was that whole area where this, the tree was. We're essentially going to that equivalency in this game. I'm just going to rest here since I found this place. But thank you again for the raid. <laughs> Sorry for the seizures, by the way. I knew it flashed a couple times. I didn't realize it was just like... <laughs> Rapid fire. That's a classic SNES move. So we're just gonna restock and then we're gonna get the candies that are here. I want as much alternate healing as possible for the end of the game. There we go. Getting all these back. Okay, so let's go sleep at the inn. So I forget who tells you this. It might be Gemma back at the other place. We'll, we'll talk to him to see if he tells us what we're supposed to do next. But essentially what I'm looking to do is we're looking to go to one last area. And that'll be the last thing we do today. Thank you Prismatic Blaze for also joining in on the raid. Hopefully you're doing well. Okay, I promise you, although this other dungeon is somewhat long, I don't think it's as horrific <laughs> as that other dungeon was. That other dungeon was way too long. I think we could all agree, Chan. There were like, what, eight switch puzzles, seven places we had to whip, five or six bosses. That was a little much. Um, I guess what I should do Let me think. It doesn't matter if I go here. So we don't need to worry about the Mana Fortress right yet. We can't do anything with it. I think I need to go southwest. So I want to go back to the continent briefly. We'll take a look at what it looks like now. It's suddenly a lot more peaceful. Everyone okay? Take care of yourself. Here's a little boost. So she just heals but doesn't give us anything. Let's talk to you for plot. Bandit, you okay? We barely got away. We failed to stop the fortress's revival. The Mana Beast will appear and crush against the fortress any minute. No cause destruction of this world, but we mustn't give up yet. Sage Ox spoke of the Mana Tree in the Pure Land at the world's end. Usually it's hidden under a dense cloud barrier. But the fortress is consuming the last of the world's mana. The barrier has surely weakened. You might just be able to land there. The seeds that have powered up your sword are a small part of the Mana Tree. Find the tree itself, and you could instantly revive the Mana Sword. We have no choice. We... Random space in the dialogue. Must find that place. Anyway. We must, Chan. We must go find it. It's a forbidden place. No one's been there. 
Beware. Thanatos Bunch double crossed the Emperor. What are they up to? Well, they're trying to destroy the world, of course. We must chat. Okay, so let's make sure we have an alternate save lined up. Finally on your way? Good luck. Yeah, this is where Neko ends up. So I guess if we wanted to get the super armor, we could? I guess? Oh, I could get more of these. I can probably afford one before the end of the game. So we have one more dungeon to make money, Chad, and that's it. Whatever we have, we're beating the game with later. Just making sure everything's capped. Uh, oh. Your Sergo is here for some reason. Yahoo! Hey, it's my friend from the sand ship. Ocean's suddenly grown calm. Maria's had a complete change of heart. Cool. Good to know. Anyway, we're gonna leave him. Let's go ahead and check the map out. I sort of know where Pure Land is, but I forget where it is relative to here. So let's take a look at the map. Oops. I don't want to do either of those things. Full screen. Is it north, northwest? Or is it just north? Oh, no, it's actually southeast. Okay, so it goes southeast. I should be at the right place. Never mind, that's much faster. Alright, so you might remember this place. It's time to enter the Pure Land chant. I've been waiting. Come here quick. <laughs> I took Did you see how much damage that was? <laughs> Okay, we're 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 in for a real treat chat. Mmm. Okay. Well, let's go and heal. Uh, let's not fight anything here, chat. I think we could just agree. Bad idea. Everybody died. I have game overed. I died instantly. Wow, the damage difference. The damage difference. Well, fortunately, we just saved. <laughs> What was that damage, Chat? What? what was that damage? That was insane. Did you like me getting one shot for real? <laughs> That's like a clip worthy moment. I died instantly, Chat. Holy. Oh, that means I have to rebuy Royal Jam. That's kind of annoying, actually. Oh, well, we'll deal with that later. Anyway. What an area. How am I going to get through this area without dying is the real question. Hmm. So clearly, if we make contact with the enemy at all, we're just dead. I think, can we all just universally agree? Fighting them equals death, there's no point. I mean, I could maybe magic spam, but that would take forever to get through, comparatively. I so here it was southeast. You arrived at quite a time. Oh boy, the difficulty spike is real. So it's, it's not... It's long in the sense that there are a lot of bosses as well. But also, these enemies... Okay, we just have to get through the first screen. How do we get through the first screen? That's the question we need to ask ourselves here. Um... Maybe I can knock you off balance with freeze. And then while doing that... Maybe I can... Petrify? I mean, we're doing good spell damage, but we need to not die to this thing. Okay, we didn't die to that thing that time. We did it. Uh, get away from me. Get away from me. <laughs> right, chat. Right, chat. Oh, oh, don't die. Don't die. We got good armor. Remember, chat, we have the second best armor upgrade we could possibly get. Holy, the damage here is crazy. So what we're going to do, we're going to cure... And then while we do that, why don't you stall? Why don't you MP absorb you? And see if we could do this. <gasps> oh, I froze in a very unfortunate spot. I could die here. Oh no, we damage canceled. We damage canceled. We're all for that. Listen. We are all for that damage cancel. Okay, we managed to survive another screen. Cool. <laughs> just see death raining upon me. Cool. So we just got to figure out where to go. We should be good.
Oh boy. <laughs> so chat, surprise boss. Hmm. I'm going to assume your weakness is thunder. Because that's what it was in the other the other time we fought it. So we're gonna do this into double check weakness. Into pygmy for fast casting. And hopefully we can get through this. Got Moogled. That's actually really annoying. I got a cure here. Oh! Uh. Royal Jam to survive? Oh! Oh, that was clutch. It is scared of Thunderbolt. So it has a lot of health, which is unfortunate. Can you candy me? Actually, can you just. We're going through a chat. I swear I'm going to damage cancel with what I can to avoid the damage. This fight is horrendous. Okay, pig meat, so I cast faster. You know what I'm going to do? I think I have to air this to slow him down. I'm looking for visual cues if chat's wondering what's going on. So I want this boss to not move very much. You hit my pygmy faster with a spell. I'm gonna say no to that. We are not letting you get off screen if we could avoid it. We are immediately gonna walnut you. Well, good thing we were leveling Sylphid earlier, I guess. Or else this fight would be much worse. Ooh, we're gonna damage cancel the spell so we don't die here. Damage cancel. Yeah, I got the damage cancel. She didn't die, that's all that matters. Man, this thing has a lot of health. Ooh, we got Pygmy. That's unfortunate. We have to use another one. Or not Pygmy. We got Moogled. Oh, we just killed the boss off screen. I think. Maybe. Yeah, we did. Okay. <laughs> unfortunate. I would have not used the herb there. But hey, we leveled. Ooh, we still die in one hit to everything outside. No, no pressure. Dying just means we gotta redo that horrible nonsense. Hmm. So now we gotta ask ourselves a question. Dare we exit? Or do we proceed and hopefully get enough MP from something? Because we, we need the MP at some point from something. Right, how many how many walnuts do I have left? That'll answer my question. Three? Okay, how much MP does this character have? A lot. Okay. I think we can keep going then. <gasps> Alright, we got four. <laughs> We're gonna do that again. So we can get through here. Nice, six. So we're back at full MP. No pressure. No pressure, but any any mistake equals death. So let's see. How do we get through this? I need to... What would be the slowest... What's the most I could slow them down with? Would it be... Maybe I'll use Shade for real? Thank you, Shade. I don't want to contend with you at all. Oh no, I don't know how to exit. Hold on. <laughs> got confused, got confused. Okay, that's the path. Please. Just don't get don't get stuck. No. <laughs> that's how we die. No, where's the exit? Wait, where is the exit? Hello? Um They're fortunately not doing anything. I'm a little confused. Let's reset the room. We're gonna pause. 
Where do you think the exit to this room is? Because I just rubbed my face against the walls and nothing happened. There has to be a trick to this room, so let's think about it, Chad. Do we think it's somehow, like, do we have to go downwards, but it's like a specific angle? Do we think the exit is diagonal? Would they be monsters and do that to us? Or is this just a dead end room and the exit's the other way? All right, we're gonna check one more time. All right, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make judgment call. I'm gonna say our exit is up here. Nope. Don't push him, don't push him, don't push him, don't push him. Okay, there we go. Okay. Oops, all, all my controls are reversed, cool. I feel like I'm playing crowd control right now. Down is up currently. Cool. Defeat the dragon to the left of this forest to pass this gate. Well, you're just a jerk. <laughs> right, chat? Save your game? Absolutely. <laughs> right, chat? Absolutely. Wait, it's confused in the main menu as well? That's so evil. <laughs> That's so evil. Why? They reverse your control with the confused spell in the menus? Holy. That is actually evil. Oh my gosh. Please return my controls to normal. Please don't make me play this whole game reversed. Oh no. Oh, there we go. It finally wore off. Wow, that was like a solid two minutes. All right, we don't... Oh. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh, they both died. Well, chat, this is where we do a, we do a happy little reset. <laughs> Because I am not doing this without them. It is just GG. I think we can all agree. Just actually over if I have to get through this without them. Alright, so they are literally two hit from death. Oh, that time we got a good spawn pattern. That's unfortunate. Oh yeah, I'm assuming frost area, your weakness is fire. Let's not second guess ourselves here. We're gonna use lava wave to buy myself some time. Then I'm gonna pig me, and then we're gonna exploder this boss out of existence. The only thing I'm interested in is how much HP do you have, so I know how many times I need to break up the 999 damage. It's the only reason I'm casting this, by the way. Oh, it saved with me still confused. Interesting. Hopefully that doesn't glitch the game. Okay. Fire leveled up. 2800, okay. We'll see how much damage we do with this. Alright, so it only needed four. And thankfully, Chad, I have been leveling our alternate magic up to at least level four, so it's less horrendous. Not of MP, unfortunate. Uh oh, my menus are still reversed. Cool. Actually, how much was fire doing? Yeah, it still needed... Oh... I guess three... Three is better, and I could do a little bit of melee. Maybe that's a little better. Save some MP here. It's like, slightly too early. There we go. Uh, I killed the boss. Again, the boss is the least scary thing in this playthrough. Hold on, did I glitch the game and I have permanent confuse on now? Please tell me I don't have permanent confuse. <laughs> Chat, please tell me. Please tell me confuse will wear off at some point, I hope. Because otherwise, oh no. Okay, we killed you. We leveled. So we're gonna do more damage with spells. Got the bow orb. Oh man. Hold on, I'm gonna walk in circles, so chat just want you to know. My controls are still reversed. Did we find a new secret of mana glitch? Do I have permanent confuse on the protagonist? Oh my gosh, that's gonna be horrendous. Um It really doesn't seem like it's ending. Can we cure it? Oh, <laughs> Oh, no! No! Don't make me beat the game with reverse controls! Oh no! Oh no, a new glitch! Secret of Mana, please! 
It's permanent. It's not ending. Oh no. Oh. Oh, that's awful. Yeah, you can see it's not ending. I'm holding left, I'm holding right, I'm holding down, I'm holding up. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait, and her controls are reversed too? What? It reversed everybody's controls? <laughs> Wait, everybody's reversed. Oh no. Oh no, chat. Ch Secret of Mana challenge here unlocked. Oh boy. Um. This one is special. Ooh, can you play the game in complete reverse controls? Holy. Oh no. Is there nothing that fixes this? Oh, my menu is actually going the right way, which is funny. But our controls are wrong. Oh, that is such a huge oversight. That is such a huge oversight and so unfortunate. Shall I save your game? I mean, you can't make it any worse than it is. Wait. Wait, can I not confirm? Why can't I hit yes here? Hello? You you didn't let me save my game. Hello? Why why didn't you let why didn't you do anything when I hit F? Oh, you're you're being weird with me now, Secret Amana. You're being real weird with me. I hit that confirm button at least 15 times. Uh one enemy even confused me. Just chat remember. They're stuck. Oh, we're we're in full challenge mode now, chat. And yes, if you are curious, I am indeed still playing with reverse controls. It is not ended. Can we can we please stop getting pumped here? Which is funny because the menu is normally reversed, which really bothers me normally. What's your MP total looking like? Is it max? It's not. Okay. So we're back at full MP. Man. That damage is crazy. Can I, like, do this to somehow fix it? No. We are permanently stuck in reverse. <sighs> do I replay the game? Or do I figure out how to undo it? How do I get this reversed? Let me think. I could... Does the girl have a magic that's cast Confuse? I don't remember. No. Is Balloon... I don't remember how to cast Confuse on yourself. I know how to silence. Well, I mean, for now, I'll play the game in reverse. Okay, another boss. Alright, so let's think about this. Let's see what the weakness is. And in the meantime, I'm gonna ca- it could be Earth. I'm gonna guess that it's Earth- it's weak to Earth Slide, because I think the other one was, but it could have a different weakness. So let's double check. Dax speak, that's fine. Is that what I wanted to do? I did not do a lot of damage. Fears freeze. Oh, okay, that's actually fine then. So all we gotta do is go to the protagonist. Do this. Cancel that. Go back here. Spam freeze. I'm okay with this. And use him to shrink the other character for faster casting. Let's see how much damage we do per spell. 999 nine, nine with only two? Okay, we only need to do two. I 
I mean, Freeze is so leveled from what we did earlier, so this should be at least a fast fight. Okay. Some new leveled, Chie leveled, Bannon leveled. Hmm. I guess we could see if dying resets the status ailment at some point, but obviously I don't want to do it now. I'm just thinking about it. Um, we could see if going to an inn reverses it. Let me think. There's one other thing I think I can do to maybe fix this. <laughs> I think it is the controller flipped upside down, so it recognizes we are confused. Maybe that'll work. Lifesaver. There we go, chat. I thought I thought real hard about that. How to get out of reverse controls. <laughs> it's like, I, you know, I'm willing to take sort of a challenge, but, you know. So I'm guessing what it does is maybe the confused status ailment literally flips it in the control edit. So anyway, checkmate game. <sighs> they almost died, they almost died, they almost died, they almost died. Um, let's go back through here. I did not heal a lot, sadly. And we absorb a lot from here without getting hit is the question. No. <sighs> Why are you not casting magic? Game, please. Uh, we need MP and I don't want to use a walnut because I have a feeling we have more bosses if you're wondering why I'm doing this. So we got a little bit more. On the plus side, we are gradually gaining MP. Sorry about this. I just want to make sure we're at least halfway through build. In case I need to stunlock something. So we gained about four extra casts off of this. So every single one of these is a free cast. And we're leveling Luna, which will help us in the future when we're in the final dungeon. So no matter what, I think this will help us. Even if I can find an easier place to get MP, this just means if I can't find something in the final dungeon, we now have enhanced MP steel, which I'm sure chat would agree is probably for the best if we don't run out of MP. So we're almost full. What am I going to do? I'm going to tell the girl to also heal us. So we're at a respectable amount of HP. I can now cast six more spells, I think. We're gonna do this two more times. And then that should probably be enough for a boss. Actually, we'll do one more. We'll do one more. Listen, we're, we're gonna play it ultra safe, chat. <laughs> we're playing it ultra safe. I don't wanna redo that other boss. Actually, you know what? We only need two more to cap MP. Actually, it just makes sense to do two more then. So two more, we're capped MP. And again, hopefully this levels soon. So that way we have a better minimum steal. So sadly, these enemies have really high magic defense. And or low total MP, which causes us not to absorb a lot. But there we go. So, we need to kill this thing that's in front of us, so let's just... Let's just hit it with ice, I think. And 
And then let's gain one MP back out of the situation. Oh, we actually getting a lot there. So you seem to be somewhat weak to freeze, which is good. You silence the boy who can't cast spells? What an idiot. Wait, what? Did you reverse my reverse again? Oh, so now this time I have the legitimate confuse. Okay, so silence is also confused. Note to self. Um, how do we get by this? Um, I need a really slow spell. Let's use potentially the boy, not the boys, the sprites shade, because the spell takes forever to activate. If I was not confused, this would be so much easier. So unfortunate that this is happening while confused. Go, 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 go. Just go, 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 go! Please, please go, please go. Oh. Child, I was so worried they were gonna die again. Okay. Oh, Defeat the dragon, left to the forest to pass the gate. So brutal. Yes, we'll save our game. It's like the game knows that this is like extremely difficult of an area, so it's just gonna make you save repeatedly. So, let's see, we did fire. The other weakness was Undine. Maybe we need Earth again. Guess we'll find out in a moment. Ah. Uh. Well, sadly, chat, what happened there is my controls unreversed <laughs> right as I went to do something. So I'm getting actually trolled by the game. Actually trolled. Oh, that enemy is horrific. How do we get by this? I think we have to do... It feels now like I'm solving puzzles. Like, I'm not fighting enemies anymore. They're just horrifically overpowered for this area. Okay, so we're gonna go through the cave. I'm assuming your weakness is ice, which is really unfortunate for you. <laughs> right, chat? Freeze is like the only spell I have completely mastered. So they are so done. Although technically I think it is one more level of mastery, but whatever, we'll get there eventually. Um, do, 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 do an analysis maybe. I mean, logic would dictate it. Looks like a fire dragon. 3000 HP. We'll see how much it takes with just two ice spells. Max damage, good. It fears Undine, it really should. Look at the damage. Yo, did she just straight up dodge Sleep Ring? What a beast. Well, <laughs> again, chat, fortunately for us. Oh, I actually killed it there. Uh, that's fine. We actually did enough damage with our melee weapon. Good job, I killed a boss without using spells <laughs> to finish it. I technically killed it with melee. I did it. <laughs> we went back to the beginning of the game real quick. A glove orb. Okay, we reached an additional level. We gotta survive. We gotta survive the exit chat. Uh, that's not good. Run, 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 run! Get out of there! It's a trap. You don't want to fight it. Okay. I'm half wondering if it was worth getting barrels to dodge some of these. Because I think barrels let you get through areas without being struck. I think that's what their trade-off is. Now on the plus side, we finally have an enemy I can just straight up MP absorb. Nice, and we leveled. 
Oh, look at that 21 MP steal. Yeah, I'm saving our 21 MP. So yeah, whenever we can do this, the better we are. And actually, I want to showcase something. So if we change these things forms... Koopy Koopopo burned out. We burned out, chat. I've been moogled. I guess they very quickly cast Reflect or something. His defense is down. Curiosity. He didn't change forms, but did it lower his magic defense? Let's find out. Ooh, yeah, see that? I cast a 5 MP spell, I absorb 5 more MP. But if we had applied that to multiple enemies, potentially that could be upwards, as you can imagine. Oh, wow. I got sniped. That could be a huge, huge bonus. This is really unfair. I can't see the enemy that's fighting us. Uh, is it worth resetting? Yes. Yes, it is, because we just saved. So we're getting attacked by enemies off screen. There's not much I could do about that. Let's continue. Oh, I got hit. That's fine. Getting struck once is fine. Getting struck like five times, not as good. All right, this is getting increasingly bad. Please go through. Please go forward. There we go. Is there any magic I want to level? How close are we to leveling other magic types out of curiosity? So Salamander's level 5, Sylph is level 5. Good level gnome. Uh, I think like fire is slightly more useful. Let's just use this to knock them down with lava. And they killed the girl instantly. That's not good. I have to revive her. Remember, chat, she has the second best armor in the game on at the moment that you can purchase. Please. Please. Okay, there we go. We're making it. We're making through. We're begging the game to not die to mushroom and other things like that. Okay, there we go. My controls are reversed again, so the game hates me. Um, do ice magic here. Knock it close. Yo, he was going in. I, I did not trust the game there. I'm sure Chad did not blame me on that one. He was going in, Chad, with a mission. And I revive him real quick. I don't think this is going to be fast enough. We'll try. Cancel death? I cancel death. Okay, good. This area is very difficult. Okay, her healing magic leveled, which is probably for the best. She's about to get dunked. Let's try to save her. Dodge and spell damage. She's about to get dunked again. Let's try to make her dodge the damage. Again, if you didn't know this trick with the mallet, oh my gosh, you would just be so done, chat. GG. Oh, that was so risky. That thing does so much damage to us. I'm going to go up and hope this is the right choice. There's another boss. Oh, there's another boss, chat. Um, hmm. I I'm going to hope you're weak to Undine. Maybe you're weak to Earth. We'll find out in a moment. Oh, wait, chat. We're not even close to done. We haven't even. We're not even close, I don't think. We're gonna spam some free spells because I don't know what its weakness is. Okay, 444 HP. 200 was not a lot of damage. Let's try Earth Magic, maybe? Please just tell me the enemy's weakness, please. It didn't say what its weakness was. Maybe it doesn't have one? We're gonna shrink the... She got destroyed outright. I'm not reviving her. 
No, Earth definitely did more damage. How am I doing magic-wise? Not a lot left. I gotta let it pause here so we reset the damage. Okay, split up, that's fine. So a reminder, I can slip in like one weapon strike or so between the spells. So I could do more damage here. So I could do something like this. So not enough to kill. Did a little more damage. Oh, I got combo. That sucked. That sucked. I was pretty close. Damn. I was like maybe one spell cast from killing. I got a little greedy not reviving the girl. I got a little greedy. I was not expecting the one two instant cast. Oh well. It's fine. We stayed pretty close by. That initial room. This room is the worst, actually. Because the AI does not know how to get through this room whatsoever. Alright, let's try again. We're gonna get a little safety heal in here. So I had. Okay, so that doesn't seem to have a weakness. Earth did like a little more, so I'm just thinking if there's something else we could do. So yeah, maybe, maybe we'll spam some Earth spells. I can level Earth on the way there a little bit more. She has magic leveled. I'm doing this to reset the room because I don't want to take damage there. Can we absorb MP from here is the question. No. You've got to be kidding me. You see what I mean? Like, they're actually getting one shot. See, that that's the crazy part, chat. Like, I really do have, like, high-end armor. I want to remind you, we purchased the battle suit for most of the characters. So they're just straight up dying instantly. All right, let's just try to get them through this area. She died instantly as well, by the way. I don't know if you saw that. All right, well, at least hopefully they'll not slow me down anymore. Uh, let's see if this is good enough. I'm gonna use her magic to maybe revive the kid? To save a cup of wish? Is that worth it? We'll find out, I guess. Oh, I forgot there's another room. That was not worth it, actually. Unless I get through without getting hit. Alright, we got through. Alright, so now we know. Looks like it took more damage from Earth, so let's just be more serious with our spell choices and maybe we'll be fine. So she can pick me. Speed up the casting. I can strike to slow it down a little. And maybe this will be good enough now. So I want to see the damage numbers pop up every now and then. That's good, because that means I can stun lock him while still doing max damage. So that way I don't have to worry about hitting max damage. If that makes sense, because we need to do 999 essentially. And anytime we see the damage number pop up, that means we're giving a little gap for him to take damage again. So weirdly, by putting gaps on our spells, we're doing more damage. Alright, this is going much better. Should be pretty close to death. Lock me down, which is unfortunate.
Yeah, that one two punch right there, that's why I died. Alright, so that, now let's use a couple wish. Oh, Sprite's still alive. Oh, pff, denied. Alright, so we need to use a walnut here. I don't think I have a choice. Unless I have more MP. How much MP do I have left? One, that's not good enough. Yeah, that's not good enough. Oh, I just needed that to strike. That's unfortunate. Can I analyze to see how much MP you have, actually? Or HP, I mean. <sighs> I got greedy. It, it, it really is one hit from death. So if I had managed to... If I had managed to land a stronger melee move, we would have won more cleanly. Unfortunate. So yeah, unfortunately he did take a lot of resistance for ice, so I guess he just has high spell resist in general. And now he should be targetable. And the fight should be over. Don't you dare kill my character and deprive them XP. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. No. Bad game. Right chat, wave your finger. No. Okay. Right. So we need to absorb more MP. Potentially leveling up Earth Magic a little more. It felt a little weak. So maybe I got punished for leaving it at level 4. Out of 8. Well, actually, we can only get to 7 right now. Well, we leveled, so we have more HP and more strength. We did upgrade our sword, technically. So what I'm gonna do... Let's go until this levels again, in case we need it. Okay. Much better. Because as I said before, spell levels make a huge difference, so hopefully this will remove how many casts we need. Yeah, and that's already... one spell level is 5 MP off of the fish people, so that's pretty big. And because everybody was knocked down, I'm gonna not be able to cancel this in time. Maybe I will. I was. This area is horrific. Please get me out of here. <laughs> right, chat, please, please get me out of here. So let's hope her heal magic has enough uh, efficiency here. Should be good, maybe. Oh, right, they have a resistance. Uh, use fire then. Listen, the worst that happens is fireball gets more XP. There we go. That made more sense. I swear if the girl dies, I'm gonna lose my mind. Please don't die. Because you got stuck on a wall randomly. Thank you. Come on, come on, come on. Stop getting stuck. Don't get stuck. Just leave. Just leave. Right, chat? Get her out of there. Oh my gosh, another save. Defeat the dragon? What a jerk. What a dungeon chat. So there's not many rooms, it's just kind of like room, room, boss, room, room, boss. And then we have to somehow not die to the twirls. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No! They can't die to it though. Damn. So we have to reset every time they die. There's there's literally 0% chance we could kill any boss without both of them. And then leaving, keep in mind, if we leave, we have to go through this entire dungeon again. They died again. Alright, so let's use a spell since they're not smart enough to dodge. Old games had no chill. Dude, this game is really brutal. We're seeing the unfortunate endgame of Pure Land. Which, to no one's surprise, people skip it in speedruns. I mean, would you want to do this in a speedrun? I wouldn't. Screw this. 
hope this does enough damage. Oh, Chia is level weapon knight, or Axe is level 4 now. Alright, I'm assuming your weakness is Earth, but we'll find out in a moment. Or it could be, it could be fire. I don't really know. Let's check. What is your weakness? We're gonna guess fire. Let's check your HP. It damage you a little, no matter what. That did one damage, so that's not the weakness. Is it Earth? I just need to know. Here's Gnome, okay. So we wasted a little bit of MP, but we did just level Earth. And fortunately, we don't really care about bosses in this game for the most part. Unless they have wall, then we feel very sad. I don't know how much damage we did because the boss was off screen. I was gonna say, I'm assuming you're getting pig mead. 495, okay, so two casts is good enough. to ping me you so that way you cast faster. Could be pretty close to dead here. Oh, I think it died. Okay. Boss easy, normal enemy impossible. But hey, at least we have more levels for the final area. Not that I think they'll help, given how much damage we've been taking. Maybe I'll go by barrels. <laughs> Maybe I'll just cap out on barrels so we get through the final dungeon easier. So every level also means more spell damage. Nice. More spell damage acquired. The boy having more damage is not bad. It's not bad. Oh, we can actually just straight up melee that one? Interesting. Uh, can we absorb some MP from you? This is the scariest return from a boss room I've seen in a while. There's so many bad things here. I'm like, just get them away from me. <laughs> right, chat? Like, just go away. <laughs> um... Guess I'll use fire magic more, just in case. You take decent damage regardless. Please, please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please come. Please come with me. Oh. If they die in chat, just for clarity, I have exactly one revive, so I would have had to have done the rest of the dungeon with only one revive. And I'm sure, as you can imagine, that would be quite terrible. Let's not do that. I think this is my final safety heal. I mean, at least her magic for cure has been going up a lot. But man, chat. <laughs> what a marathon of bosses. <sighs> we got to the end. Oh my gosh, we got to the end. <sighs> We're not done with the game, though, of course. Where are we? Look! The monetary. <laughs> burn the monetary down, chat. If this is what you have to do to reach the monetary, let it burn. <laughs> right? <laughs> Holy. We're here. Let's revive the mana sword. It looks like a dream. Can we really be here? Dot 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 chat. Bandon. We've done it! Did we? <laughs> or is she just excited to be done with the boss rush? I'm so glad I met you. And you too, Numnu. I feel like this is so preemptive. I'm so lucky I found such good help. But we didn't do anything yet. We didn't even stop the Mana Fortress. So much has happened. We never gave up hope. Oh no, I gave up hope. That's what the resets were for. We just have one more job to do. 
Ask the monitor to revive the sword. Then we can beat the fortress. To no one's surprise, Chan. Our greatest nemesis so far has been trying to get them to go through doors. Door too powerful. Ha! Huh. Now see the power of the Mana Fortress! Hey! Help! Hey! You guys okay? Help! Unless <laughs> you got to glitch your way in the ending cutscene. You wouldn't be surprised. There we go, chat. It was all for naught. Abandoned. Abandoned. Abandon all hope. Wake up. Where are we? There's no monetary. What the? After all we've been through, it's Thanatos is doing. What's going to happen now? Abandon all hope. Exactly. Abandon. It is I, the Manatry. The Man of Fortress is using up most of the world's mana. Soon, all the beasts will be transformed into one giant creature. Only the Great Mana Beast can bring back mana. But the beast has little control over its rage. If it were to attack the fortress, the world would be finished. Not really sure why that is, by the way. <coughs> but sure. The only way to avoid this is to beat it using the Mana Sword. The sword can only be used by the people of the tribe of Mana. Your father, the legendary knight, Siren, should be standing here now. He was badly wounded 15 years ago by the Emperor, but vowed to stop him. On his way to a final showdown, he fell and never got up. That was in Potos. You mean the ghost I saw by the falls was my dad? Look at that shocked expression, chat. It's quite an image. That was your father, Siren. I was his wife. And am your mother. Well, this would be a plot twist if we didn't play Final Fantasy Adventure. So there you go. Tree is mom, chat. Which has me a little confused. I guess this is not quite in the same universe of Final Fantasy Adventure. Maybe they correct this in the later ones? Because they said there would be no more mana trees, but by the way this kind of lines up... Unless Siren is supposed to be Sumo. I'm not sure how that works. I don't know how she would be the mother. But anyway, let's not think about it too hard. Just an older NES game. I'm sure they didn't even think about making it a series initially. We are the Mana Tribe. The women of our kind become the tree and the protectors of the world. The men wield the sword and protect against evil. <laughs> the men stand by and watch as the women and little child do everything. <laughs> I think it's a more accurate statement. You must stop the fortress. Mana is weak and its shields are down. Yeah, now they're down. Thanks, game. With my last energy, I will summon the power of the seeds of mana. Sword power at maximum. Bandon, I'm sorry. I haven't been much of a mother to you. Mother, is that really you? Please. Awkward pause. Mother? Why won't you talk to me? Mother! Bandon. Mother, my... This is nuts. <laughs> Did we just get slapped? Snap out of it. She's asked us to do something. Chie doesn't have a mother. world's longest pause and neither do I wow that was really long dot 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 from Bandon sorry I'll be okay <laughs> you get over it gosh she's died in front of you 
<laughs> right, chat? Get over it. We've had it rougher. I've got a lot to live up to, and we got a big job ahead. What happened, indeed, from Blue Donna? Now you're talking number one. Yeah, I feel like I just met my mom, too. I know she's in my heart. What? <laughs> All right, let's do it. Yeah! Oh, jeez, do I even try to beat the game today? We got, like, an hour to do it, but as you saw... Brutal, brutal difficulty. So I should be able to get to level 8 spells now that the seeds have been unlocked. Because I think they've been stopping at level 7 for a while now. So we have fire most of the way leveled, so if we really need it, we need it. I don't need Dryad for anything. I might do a glitch to beat the final boss i don't know i mean it's it's one of those things like i'll tell you what the glitch is chat oh we have we can't walk out of here we gotta use slay me so just so chat is aware we're gonna get to the end of the game and we're gonna be required to stack magic on the boy to power up the sword to its true final form uh, but the problem is, is if you use anything other than the sword magic while the sword magic is active, the game kind of forgets to remove it because it's supposed to be a temporary buff. So we'll, we'll probably glitch the, we were doing mostly glitchless, but I think it's going to happen. I think we have to do it or else the final fight is going to take like 30 years. So for some reason, if you haven't been leveling Dryad normally, just so chat is aware, Essentially what'll happen is that you have like a window of like 15 seconds to hit the boss and it's it's really not fun. It's it's not fun as you as you think it sounds. So let's not do that. Let's just all agree that it, that is a waste of time. How do I get to Oh, there we go. So, I'm going to go from the pure land back to the gold land. I thought it was southeast, but I guess it's more like east east southeast. So if I go directly southeast from here, maybe I'm lined up now. Okay, so I had the right idea. Oh, I was going southwest. Whoops. Uh, there we go. So, yeah. It's, it's very silly. I don't know why they put it on a timer, to be honest with you. And I don't recall if we have infinite mana at the end of the game or not. Oh, something went wrong. Not where I should be. Uh, where is, so I thought it was, I thought it was southeast, maybe it's more south-southeast? No, now I'm confused, give me a second shot. Oh, it's like dead north of me, okay. I'm looking for a place to land just to reset things. Wait, no, this is still not what I'm looking for. Hold on, does the globe- Oh, is the globe not accurate to the- Oh, that's annoying. I didn't think about that. Maybe the globe is actually facing the way that I'm facing versus true north. Yeah, where am I on this map? Oh, the blinking dot is where the mana fortress is. That's not helpful. I don't care about that. Um, I mean, I could rest here. I don't mind using the resting spot here. I want to eventually go back to the sunken continent, so that way I can get things like honey. But I could rest here if I need to. Yeah, I thought the blinking was the position that I went, oh, hey, that's a lot of money. Okay. Plus side chat, we have enough to buy super armor, which I will use as a safety precaution to get through this dungeon. So maybe we'll try to do it tonight. If things look bad, I can always just leave. It's very easy to leave from what I remember. We just have to kind of clear the bosses. And oh boy, chat, are there still more bosses? So I feel like definitely for the tail end of the game, I feel like the enemies were meant to be more spaced out boss wise. But as I said before, this game was originally meant to be on like a CD before a deal fell through. So I think basically what has happened is they designed all these bosses that were basically palette swaps of one another. 
and they were like, we're going to use them. So they crammed all of them in in like the final two hours of the game. <laughs> because I feel like this session has seen more bosses than almost every one of the other parts of the playthrough so far, and we're still not done. I think we have at least four more bosses, not an exaggeration, I'm pretty sure. Well, I know of at least two. No, three. I know of at least three. So, we are going to restock all of our healing. I might give up on doing more damage with the Bracer just to get defense. Because I feel like if we get hit, it's just over. So we're going to see where we are after we buy the super armor. I could always just equip the power wrist for the boss. So I might do that just so we could live a little easier. So let's go ahead and get these two. We're going to purchase whatever we can here. Uh, I don't care about the boy's damage right now. We just need to survive. Let's get another 80-something defense. Let's go ahead and equip the Vest Guard. The Sprite at least can equip the other armor. So we're still getting, you know, 60 less damage. Maybe this will make a difference. I would like to hopefully get one more armor before we go, but we'll see what happens. So I could give her the other accessory. I could sell this. I could sell what she has now to get the Vest Guard, which I think would make sense. So let's do that. So that way basically everybody at least got a small increase of defense and we're just playing it ultra safe. Because we saw how brutal this dungeon is. So we're not going sw to swap them up to the gauntlet because we just want to do spell damage. I'd prefer not to have to micromanage the spell damage. But she could get an easy increase. So she's now taking 80 less damage. And now she's going to get a difference of 100. So she's taking 180 less damage. So I'm hoping by her taking literally half of her health less in damage, we should be fine. And this, and even the sprite is taking 60 less. So I'm hoping a combination of these things will mean that I don't need to backtrack. I could try to kill a couple things just to get more. Stop it, controller. Controller. Stop it. Okay. So I think we basically have the best that I can get. I can check how much defense the uh, needle helmet gives. Potentially later. So if we need to exit the dungeon for whatever reason, we'll come back and get the needle helmet. But I'm hoping all of these increases mean that we could just go beat the game now. What I'm going to do for a standpoint of safety reasons, rather than having to go through that shopping and menuing again, I'm going to quick save here. And we're going to go try to beat the game with what we have now. So I have four walnuts, four revives, four super heals, four candies, four chocolates. So I have like enough okay-ish items to maybe get through. Oh, I could buy barrels. Actually, let me buy barrels. So if I'm really desperate, I will put the barrel on. <laughs> I think it means it makes you immune to damage, but you can't attack. So if we see a really, really awful hallway, we could take advantage of that to try to dodge. Sadly, it's not like the hammer where it has unlimited use. But I think we need to basically take everything with us if we want to win at this point. So anyway, we've vastly improved our defense. Okay. Let's get close enough so we start rising upwards. There we go. Defense sort of paying off. We only took 68 instead of like 100. Okay, we're making some progress. Oh, I need the whip. I need the whip. Oh, get me out of here. 
<laughs> chat, like he's, we, we need to get out of here. Oh, I'm playing the sprite for a little bit. Uh, oh, he actually does a lot of damage with that. Interesting. I really need the boy to not do that. Just get out of here. Killing these enemies potentially give us orbs to finish the uh, leveling that we need to do. Ooh, this looks like an annoying set of enemies. Can we maybe level frost off of these? Let's find out. Yeah, that does not do a lot of damage, but that also means potentially they're weak to fire instead. Took some fire damage. Fireball. Oh, that spooked me slightly. Uh, let's see. What what is their weakness? Because they're in my way. I need to know. They have 220 health. Uh, can I absorb some MP so I don't lose as much here? I'm going to be really cross if I miss with the weaknesses, because I have to do this to cancel the damage. Oh, so their weakness is fire. It just does so little damage. That's unfortunate, actually. Okay, Chie level. <sighs> they just... I just, need, I just need them to cooperate, chat. I'm like, oh, come on. I can't, so the so the problem with this dungeon, chat, and why I don't like this dungeon, you might have noticed, there's things on the floor that keep respawning. So the AI will either not react to it and not slice it down to catch up to you, or they'll get stuck in general, because it'll come up as they're coming through. And that makes movement very difficult. So I don't think that was really worth it from a combat standpoint. We're, let's try to get our MP back on something. Hopefully we could get it back here. It's fine. We got one MP back. It's better than zero. We can hop across here. We know we do decent damage to this thing. It might be worth MP absorbing. Out of range. Let's try this. Oh, I keep forgetting. When I'm the sprite, the buttons are different. That also kind of throws me off that the buttons are different, depending on who's in the lead. So sometimes I'm, I'm trying to swap into ma magic and I forget it's the other button I need to press. Oh yeah, that's fine. We get through here without getting hit. We're completely fine. So they're following me for now, which is good. Well, <laughs> or apparently it just makes them pop up. Cool. Uh, let's get through here, please. Okay. So I think what I could do is use fire magic again. We might need it for later. And then I can MP absorb. Why is she getting comboed? Why is she being comboed while unconscious? Game, please. Use a candy to save her, maybe. Didn't quite get the kill. It's not what I wanted to do. I meant to multi-target. That could be bad for us here. Okay, big damage. Killing them for XP. Let's heal her with candy, because that's the least useful healing item we have. I want to save her magic for later. Okay, we're making some progress. Went through a door. Stepped on a warp. And here we go. There we go, chat. Right there we go. This enemy, as you can imagine, is horrendous. Horrendous. <laughs> I 
We need to make sure we stun lock this thing instantly. Let's see what your weakness is first, though. Oh, something leveled. His name is Buffy. Cute little reference to Buffy, the Vampire Slayer. GA's magic is up, nice. Just tell me it's weakness, please. Still so if I'd reach level 2, okay, but tell me it's weakness. 4200 health. Well, obviously not now. I've been best. You know what? It seems to be taking a lot from Freeze. This might be fun. Thank you, Freeze. I'm so glad we leveled you. Wait, are we canceling the damage by casting a spell? That's so sick. <laughs> nice try, vampire. Get wrecked. Look at that. I'm dodging the damage by casting spells. That's so sick. I ran out of MP. That's unfortunate. Um, I think I can afford a good one here. Just need to do like a little bit more, I think, and we should be good. On the plus side, we have 39 MP. Should be dead soon. Yeah, we were off by one spell. It's so sad. So that being off by one spell costs us a uh, fairy walnut. Oh well. Okay, we leveled, so we're doing more damage now. Okay, so we're gonna teleport. Oh, uh, geez, I have no idea where to go. Let's go left first and hope this is the right way. Please don't die, please don't die, please don't die, please don't die, please don't die. Be such a big waste of time. Uh, I think we have to take these things seriously. I don't think I can bypass these. They're just so aggressive. No! I'm gonna I'm gonna safety heal. Please cast your spell, please. So I could get by the cast your spell. Come on. What what? Come on! <laughs> okay, this is not fair. I have told this character to spell cast like five times. You're cheating me, game. You're cheating me out of this easy kill. Please, I beg of you. Fine, you use your magic. Thank you. Holy. It was in like the infinite. She does one damage with fire magic, by the way. That is so bad. Alright, these things need to die. Still not enough damage. That's crazy how high their magic resistance is. But at least we level fire magic, I guess. And still not dead. Wow. That is a big waste of MP. Okay, we need to absorb something later. Or we're in big trouble. Holy, they're so tanky. Okay, let's cure. Thank you for the good luck in Parameter. I should probably get this chest. I have no idea what it is. It could be a weapon orb, could be a uh, walnut or something. Or it puts me at 1 HP. Cool, cool. <laughs> right chat? Cool, totally fair. Well, single target heal at least is all that HP. Thanks, Secret of Mana. Oh, speaking of which, can you absorb... Oh, I got confused because... The character's menu was pink, but it wasn't that. Let's see if this is good enough for MP Absorb. I just need a little bit. Ooh, 29? That was a huge MP steal. That was huge, actually. Okay, so Fire Magic is leveled. Earth magic is okay. Undine is like unstoppable. What am I getting stuck on? That was weird. I whipped it, but it was like doing a thing like it was in a cutscene animation. It was very weird. Yeah, let's gather them here, whip across. Hack through, hack through, hack through. Move them, move them, move them, move. 
Okay, that's fine. We can deal with this. That's a kind of delay we don't mind. The little slime monsters are horrendous. Mm, that's a delay I don't want to see. Can't move until Numnu is awake. Please wake up Numnu. I really don't want to waste my status healing on something that will undo itself. Please wake up. I beg of you, Secret Amana. I'm at your mercy. <laughs> you show me mercy. I'm so close to the end of the game. I beg of you. Thank you. Holy. Let's get through here. Uh, two paths. I'm gonna go this way first. No mercy. No mercy indeed. I hope this is the right way, or I'm gonna feel so sad. And that's not quite. Oh no, it's one of you. All right. Well, we know that these things cannot be left alone, or we're never gonna kill these. Oh, our sword damage is actually really good. Huh. Interesting. I was not expecting us to actually be able to damage them, but here we are. Why is she stuck? AI, please. Alright, uh, 14 MP is good. We're, we're basically back to normal. I got another kill. Which leveled them new, which means we do more spell damage. This is good. This is good. Any extra levels we get on the way to the, the boss is absolutely worth it. That lag as it enters through there is interesting. So we're up to 41 MP. So now Fairy Walnut gives us one additional spell due to killing other bosses. So this is actually looking pretty good. So we still have quite a few left. Oh, I didn't see it there. Oh, that was that was such a cheap move. That was so cheap. Did you even see that other enemy there before it hit me? Holy, it just like appeared out of nowhere. Get me out of here, please. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't drain our resources. We're doing so well. Please don't die. We're, we were doing so well until they sneak attack me. Just come- no! <laughs> come on! <laughs> come on! Man, it's so unfair when they just dodge randomly. Oh, now you kill. Too late now, though. We lost another revive, which is not good. Oh. Hmm. Is your weakness light beam? And the question is, should I even bother using it? I feel like the answer is no. Oh, let me think. Uh... Guess we can see how much damage we do. Let's see what is. Oh, oh, that was a really glitched out menu. Let's see how what its weakness is. If we don't do a lot of damage here. We'll, we'll, we'll figure something out. 5,000 HP. Takes okay damage from melee if I really gotta melee it. Well, that candy glitched out. Freeze doesn't do a lot of damage. Oh, Fierce Shade. Oh, okay, let's try that then. I mean, if I'm really desperate, I could try to win with Javelin. Maybe that's what I should have them do. I don't mind the girl being gr aggressive here, because it doesn't matter. Yeah, let's do that. Let's have the girl be aggressive. And then get- oh man, that is so glitching, lo glitchy looking. Uh, I think this does more, right? Well, it is ranged. Maybe she'll behave a little better. So let's change our AI to be aggressive here, since we do okay damage. Hmm. Can I do moon energy on me, maybe? Maybe we don't hurt it. Let's try this again.
did one damage. Lacta for 146. So, Shade is its weakness, but I haven't leveled it. Hmm. I really need them to stop hitting me with spells so I can charge weapons. Because the downside is, like, when I'm charging, I can't do what I need to do here to do this. Speaking of can't do what I need to do... Alright, so we have a slow battle, but it is guaranteed. I just need them to stop doing this so I could do something. I'm gonna tell the sprite to also be aggressive. So what I'm gonna do... Attack, level 6. And I want the girl to also do it. So the idea behind this is that hopefully she'll be more aggressive with it. Although I'm apparently stuck in the corner and can't do anything, which is interesting. What am I- what am I stuck on with her? Why can't I move? So the sprite will charge up damage, I guess. Uh oh. Or it's just still immune to us. Maybe it was only the moon magic that did damage earlier? Hmm. This is gonna be really rough then. If I can't damage this... Uh... So the boy at 105 is still not strong enough? That's crazy. I'm not gonna lie, them interrupting me constantly with spells makes this way harder than this should be. I also can't tell if I'm whiffing or if I literally just don't have enough stats. Hmm. Doesn't feel like I'm doing enough with it. Okay. So maybe it was just the other element before. So is there anything else I could do for more damage? We'll try freeze again. We'll try to cancel the damage here. So we... Oh, wow, I really have nothing that damages it, huh? So it said it had how many HP? Like a thousand or five thousand or something crazy? So this is going to burn a lot of walnuts, which is a bit concerning. Like, I don't need any for the final boss, for the most part. It's mostly the fight after this that I'm worried about. So if there's another boss that I forgot about, then we're in trouble. If if it goes right to a big named bad villain kind of thing, then we're fine. I don't care. Funny enough, we might even be able to level, level Undine on this. So we had some peace and quiet, at least, for a little bit. So if I have two fairy walnuts left, is that enough to beat the game? How much MP does the girl have? If she has at least, like, 16, I'm fine. That might be fine, because she might not need it for the rest of the, the game. But I'm gonna need more here. There we go, I finally did some damage. There we go. I can save ourselves a couple spell casts here. I just want to make sure we don't have to use... What's it called? A walnut. So we do, we do have a means of damaging it, but I need to charge up, which is fair. Because I would like to save some spell casts if we can. Ah. Oh. So unfortunately there, a controller acted weird, but also... It would not let me select the right character. Please stop chaining spells on me so I can actually attack. So that's the only downside. The boy has all the damage needed to damage the boss, but now the boss is hard focusing me and I can't do anything. So that's kind of annoying. Also, I seem to be stuck and I think it's because the girl's in the corner. So, something about the boss position has stopped me from being able to move, which is kind of annoying. 
Please stop tar- please stop targeting the boy so I can kill this with the sword. We're very close, by the way. I think we need to do about a thousand more. But sadly, due to the position of the AI, I'm not able to actually hit them. Which I feel like is a very big oversight to create a boss arena where I can't hit the boss. Like, you think I would be able to hit it, but I actually can't. Yeah, like, see- okay, now I think I'm unstuck, finally. Nope. Can't reach. Do this. Like, I think we can all agree, that's that's pretty unfair. I can't do anything. I can't move from my position, so only the girl can hit it, I think, right now. And she doesn't do enough damage. Um, Does she do enough damage with Axe, is the question. I, I would like the boy to charge up if I can. So I'm going to tell him to charge. Because if he lands, like, just, like, three charged hits, like, full charge, I think it's over. But, like, obviously, if the game doesn't let me do it, like, there's nothing I can do. Please stop doing this because this forces me to let go of the charge button. You know, that is really unfair. Alright, okay, we did some damage at least. So the girl is at least able to progress the boss state. I don't care if the boy takes damage here. I need to do damage to the boss. Okay, so we're doing some damage. You can tell the AI is also not able to target the boss, by the way. You notice how the AI hasn't moved at all as the boy? Cool. We're getting closer. So we're going to save our MP because I need the walnut. I don't care how long this takes. We're going to do this. Also, I'm really glad I leveled Axe, by the way. Can we all just say, what a what a relief that I leveled something other than Sword. Oh, I wanted to cancel death, but I wasn't fast enough. That is unfortunate. I'm gonna try to cure this. Please stop spamming Acid Storm over and over. Alright, I don't mind losing one couple wishes. This is fine. I would like the boy to eventually be able to do something. I mean, chat can see, like, he literally can't do anything. Like, th th this is so unfair. This is so unfair. I literally can't use more than one character at a time on this boss. They did not playtest this. Why did that do zero? So sadly, the girl... Actually, you know what I could do? The girl needs to do damage. And defense doesn't matter. We, we need to equip the power bracers. We, we need to do more damage or we're going to be here forever. to two. Unfortunate. So, yeah, we'll call this they didn't playtest the final part of the game. And she's also now not able to reach it. Game, please. We're so close, chat. We don't have that much to do. Let's see if I can speed it up with a spell, maybe. had to let go of charge because I have to prevent the damage. Alright, now I'm gonna use her magic because I'm really curious how close we are. I'm gonna make sure I'm not overestimating how much we have to do or underestimating. I can afford to do this. This is fine. So the boy has literally not been able to do anything for the past five minutes. Thanks, game. I didn't see how much it was. It flipped too quickly. Couldn't tell if that was a thousand, which is okay. Ten strikes is not awful. It's just unfortunate that it delays it like this. 
Like, we're getting there. If she crits, it saves a lot of time. There we go. I like how the sprite's charge meter broke, by the way. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> Do you like that, chat? Do you like it stuck at 0 out of 6? Gotta let go. Cancel the damage. At least the boss is sort of behaving. No, never mind. Spoke too soon. Can the boy really not do anything? Like, does he have no other alternatives here? Like, can he at least throw javelin or something? Sorry about this, chat. I didn't think this boss was uh, here, to be honest. Oh no. I can't... I can't... No! I can't reach the boss anymore! And my menu's glitching, which made me miss the menu. <sighs> I, I I think I have to burn the... I think I have to burn the walnut. I, I don't think I could afford for this to go on longer. So the, the boss is getting more glitchy, and I can no longer target. Like, I'm legitimately stuck. So I think we can all blame the game on this one. I don't think there's anything I could do. Controller, please. I beg of you. We're so close to the end of the playthrough. So let's do this to dodge the damage. So I tried beating it somewhat legitimately. I guess if I were to redo this again, I would do weapon damage for the first 1,000 or so damage while all characters are still able to target. But again, like, why design a boss like this where you're literally... You're literally helpless without spells. Like, I don't even think there's a way I could beat this with melee at this point. Unless my, like, javelin was, like, nearly maxed with the other character. It's very stupid. So anyway, we lost some Cups of Wishes. I still have some revives. I only need them for one boss. The rest is just getting through the rest of the area. Let's just go ahead and finish this up, I think. So we did do about a thousand in damage here. So hopefully this will be good enough. We'll need more. I love that literally the AI has completely given up attacking. Did you notice that? Like, they completely stopped attacking. That's how you know the game has not been tested for this part. It looks like we're almost done, given the size of the slime. I got 15 more casts. I physically can't move to hit the boss. So we're doing a little over 100 per cast, so we should be fine, I think. I'm trying to be very conservative in the freeze to see if this is good enough. Why did that only do one damage, by the way? What was- why- why did that do one damage? Speaking of which, is your Undine leveling? Okay, cool, Undine's gonna level at this rate. That'll save us some time. So in a way, this is just gonna help me for a future boss fight by doing more damage. Oh. Wait, did you... Oh, you just counter ice magic me. That was rude. Alright, uh, we have 10 more casts to try to kill this boss. So let's hope that's Undine levels to get the kill. Or else I don't know what to do. And then we... we I guess we have to retreat. If the game forces me to leave the fortress, we'll beat it next time. I really don't want to, though. Oh my gosh. There we go, chat. The least play-tested boss in the whole game. We beat it. Congratulations. That felt pretty unfair. Sorry, Secret Amata fans. Please explain this boss. Why they thought this was okay. It's so much worse than the other slime boss. It's like the other slime boss in reverse. And then it just gets you stuck on random things. Uh, get us out of this room. Let's never talk about this room ever again. Uh, we have a room to get our MP back, so they, they were at least somewhat kind with this. Please get through, please get through, please get through, please get through, no! Oh, damn. This, is gonna, this might 
Oh, this is really bad. I actually can't use her magic anymore. I need it if I want to beat the, the, the dungeon in one go. Get through, please get through, please get through. Get through. Oh, you're stuck on the green thing. Oh, of course you are. Don't push the... Ugh. They pushed the enemy into them and they died. All right, well, we're going to continue for now. Please get unstuck. All right, we're in ultra... How? Why are they still getting stuck on things? Come on. I can't move because they're stuck there. Game, please. This is so unfair on so many levels. I lit I can't do anything because she's stuck there. Unreal. Unreal, chat. Man, they really are going to force me to go back. That is so annoying. And it's just because they did one really stupid thing and it killed both of them. Keep in mind, as I said before, she now has the best armor in the game. She has the best gauntlet in the game. She has a pretty good headpiece. She legit got one shot. Actual insanity. I mean, I could try to revive. So I can get through this. But if they get stoned, they're just going to die again instantly. Cancel the damage there. Please stop running into the one place you can't go. Just come on, come on, come on. <laughs> come on. This is so bad. I just get unpetrified, please. I beg of you. I beg of you. You died. I can revive you once. I beg of you. Please let me get out of this room. Please, I beg of you. And died even though I did the healing. Oh my, if she dies, it's over. I gotta go back. Oh my gosh, game, please. I got one safety revive. Please revive her. Please stop getting one shot. Stop, stop fighting them. Oh my gosh, that could not have gone any worse going into that room. I lost almost everything. I can try to beat the other boss. I still have two revives. I have to use a walnut on her which is what I did not want to do to conserve my revives. Uh, let's, let's worry about this later. And the character I need to progress is dead, so I actually do need to worry about that right now. Wow, that could not have gone worse. Uh, I need you to cancel damage here. Man, this dungeon is just so brutal. Uh, what do I do here? I guess I cast Revive. I still haven't recovered my MP, by the way, which is not good. I'm gonna try to do it here. Do you mind not just like instant spell casting on a character who legit just died earlier? I had to do that. I got a little bit of healing. I'm going to take the whip from the other character because I, I can't because they're in the animation. That really sucks. Please let me get out of this animation. So they're going to heal. Then I'm going to use regular heal magic here. And I cannot use another walnut for the rest of the run. I still didn't get my MP back. I mean, I got a little more. Uh, we need we need something easier to fight to get MP. We need MP though, so we cannot go to a boss with our current MP. This might be fun. Please stop taking damage. I beg of you. I beg of you. <laughs> We're so close. We're like one boss from the end chat. I'm, I swear. I think there's only one major boss. If we get past that boss, we are done with the game because the rest of it is mostly, it's not 100% free, but it is mostly free. But I have to get past this room. Okay, we need to get through this room. Please let me through this room. Okay, right, I did this, got whacked. It let me get to the end. I'm so close. MP is basically full. That's good. Heal yourself. I'm going to do another ice spell, and then I think I'm going to cast MP Drain. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Why did they cancel their damage animation? Cheaters. 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 I need them both to die here right now. Man, this AI is like... Just get through. Just get through. Just get through. Uh, this is actually fine. If you could drain this, this would be huge. And she just needs to use chocolate or something on herself. We have a lot of chocolate still. We got most of her MP back. That's good. We have almost everything we need to beat the game. We're very close. I need them to behave themselves. I will do a safety save because I really don't feel like redoing this if we game over. I'll be honest with you. So we're going to safety save here. I just need them to go like a little bit further. I promise we're near the end. If I have to escape rope out, that's fine. Just go through. Just go through. I beg of you to not get caught on things. <laughs> that, all it is at this point, it's not skill anymore. It's can I get these idiots to not die to random things? Um, Do I safety barrel or use MP here? I think I just use MP. Oh, that reminds me. No, 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 no. Cancel the dip. Cancel it. Cancel it. Cancel it. I realize why they're acting weird. I have to turn off their charge. That's why they're they're acting really weird right now. I think they're trying to walk up in charge attack when obviously we really do we do not want them doing that under any circumstance. Oh, hers is still zero. Well, then she's just stupid. That can't be helped, I guess. Please don't fight the sword. Please don't fight the sword. Just go by the sword. You do it. Let him cure. Let him cure. It's fine. Let him live his little happy world. We don't want to interfere with it. Oh, we have the... Oh boy, we got a whole mess of enemies. We know we can't run by these because this will kill everybody. So we're going to try to level fire magic here. Why am I not able to do what I need to do? Do another fire spell. Oh, she- they killed the one that I actually needed to stay alive. That kind of sucks. MP absorb time. Okay, I got most of my MP back. Hopefully this kills. If not, we'll get by. We'll get by. Just get by, just get by. Just... Uh, I don't know where the exit is. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Run, 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 run! No! She died! No! Come on! I got one cup left. Ugh, oh, just... AI, please. Do you see what I mean? Like, that's so unfair. That's so out of my control. Uh, I ha I can have no character deaths between now and the end of the game. That might be impossible. Oh, that is so annoying. We were like right near the boss. That's the worst part. You'll see where the boss is and you'll understand. Man, she just had to die right there. So unfortunate. I actually want to make that enemy go off screen. The way I don't target it by accident. On the plus side, our fire magic is getting pretty strong. Man... I think we do have to try again. I, I don't see a world in which I can one-try this final boss. It, again, it would take an absolute miracle to get through this without a death. We have all the healing, but the worry is that I'm just gonna get one shot. So she needs MP to do the thing I need to do at the end of the game. This character has however much we have in Walnut MP, which is not a great amount. So we're at the penultimate boss of the game. That's how close we were, chat, when she died. One room away. One room, chat, I would have had the safety cup of wishes, and I wouldn't have had to have rushed that. So unfortunate. I know, it's so annoying, it's just like, like, think about it this way, like, think about how unfair that is, like, I literally had the best possible armor, I this died in one hit. Power. 
that is not okay, Secret Amana. We're gonna complain about this for sure at the end of the, uh, when we review the game. Because that is just, like, absolute BS. Dialogue! For ages I have been searching for a human with the power to conquer this world. One born in the shadow and raised in the light of mana. Dialogue is the one. Cannot wait any longer. My body has grown weak. It is time. Using this body, I will take the mana fortress and then rule the world. Tylock, resist him with all your might. Uh, uh, I must hurry. This body is breaking up. Help me. Help me. Dialog, snap out of it. Uh, where am I? <laughs> How good this new body feels. I grow strong. Liar, you can't just steal someone's body. My dear, I can do anything I want. <laughs> huh? I can't move. Chie, can you hear me? It's me, Dialog. He's too strong. I'm finished, but I can help you. Thanatos is an ancient sorcerer who sold his heart to the underworld. Though his life force is eternal, he has in his own body. His life force is growing darker. He feeds on hatred and destruction. Oh, silence! I'm sorry I won't see you again, but I have to do this. Oh, you're Bandon, right? Take care of Chie. Dialog, snap out of it! Please, Dialog, stop it! Ugh! I forbid this! Just when I was to be reborn! I, I must withdraw! Give me your bodies! Ugh! Here we go, chat. Best music in the game. Oh boy. We're in for a boss fight. Oh, magic leveled up. That is actually really good. No joke, this hitting level 8 is actually super crucial. I think this is going to save the run. So we have a chance of getting a super animation now, which will be interesting. I believe this is good enough. Okay, good damage, good damage. I don't want to see him cast spells. If he does, we might be in trouble. We need to dunk him, chat. I'm spending all my resources. How much MP do I have? 14? Okay. We're going to see how much damage we do here. Okay, I'm purposely breaking it up because I know he's got a lot of HP. about to cast a spell. This is our last big opportunity to damage him before something bad happens to the whole party. And again, level 8 magic. Kind of crucial. I'm going to cast one more spell to try to maximize our damage here. Please die. Not enough. Got one more spell in me. I'm going to use the last fairy walnut we have, and we got to win with whatever we got for the rest of the game. Okay. Please don't make me use too many resources here, though, or we could be in trouble. Oh, super ice, super ice chat. We got, we got magic can now crit because it's level eight. That might do it for us then. So that is a big damage increase whenever that happens. But you can see this guy has a lot of health. I don't want him to cast anything. We've been interrupting him so far. He's doing an attack. We are dodging for now. Please tell me I have enough MP to beat this. We're getting kind of low. I'm scared to see how much health it has. 
I need to know though. How close are we? I'm willing to sacrifice one MP for sake of sanity. What's your HP total? Big ice. 1600. I I think we could do it with our current MP then. We might need one more magic crit. We'll see. He fears Lumina. Too bad. He should have feared. <laughs> should have been fearing Undine, right, chat? Hopefully, this is good enough. Not good enough. We're off by one spell, I think. Let's do it. Okay, we, we managed to actually make him not do any terrible spells to us for the most part. It's not over yet, though. I wish this was over. I'm not celebrating. We have one other boss. So I'm going to hope that this is enough. We'll find out, though. He fears Lumen is terrified of Undine. Yeah, pretty much. So the Seal and Dryad's mana magic is gone. Oh. Dialogue. Okay, so if the game lets me leave here, then I'm going to make a safety save. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm whatever other safety save was, we're leaving it there. GA. We're still in cutscene world, which tells me we might be in till the end. What the? Let's get out of here. Ah! What is it? Whew! I'm okay, just dizzy. We have to get out of here now. All right, so we'll make it we'll make another safety save here. I'm curious if we could beat the game from here or not Not entirely sure So here's what my concern is We unlocked another spell it only costs one So I have basically this is all I have <laughs> for the rest of the game. I have 10 MP We have a lot of magic with her but she has to be able to apply buffs. So... She might have enough MP? If you're wondering why I was worried about her MP total, Moon Energy's two. I could cast it a few times. We got like maybe five or six attempts with a couple group heals. We'll go for it. It's gonna be super close. It's a mana beast, isn't it, Flammy? I guess Flammies were once mana beasts. Hurry, or the mana beast will ruin the world. Come on, do it. I can't. I won't hurt a mana beast. I can't. No, we will. <laughs> They're only trying to restore mana. And... I'm new. If you use up all your mana power, you'll disappear. Oh, no. I'm not sure where that plot point came from, but sure. Right. I can't go through with this. What do you mean? I'm not going to kick the bucket. My world is separate from this one. Which means I won't see you again. Okay, if we don't stop the Mana Beast, your world is finished, right? Everything will perish. Trees, animals, people. That must not happen. You have the Mana Sword. You must save this world. You have no choice. You made a vow to your mother. The Mana Tree, right? I'll be okay. All right. You're sure? Of course. Later, Chie. So, if you recall, immediately upon starting this boss battle, we get take the sword, yada yada yada. Okay, so here's what I learned I can do different based off of what I had before. It was possible for me to beat the game as is, 
So step number one, before I forget, because I'm gonna forget this every time, assuming we have to try one more time. I am going to switch them onto the gauntlet, because remember the girl was on the power wrist to beat the slime boss. So that's step one. So now, Sprite no longer gets one shot. That's huge. It opens up the door. The problem is, like, I'm still really tight on MP. So one, I don't want this character to attack. Two, I know exactly what I want to do in order to beat this boss. So let's just go do it. Stupid boss. So we're going to use that. And we're going to... Actually, I'm going to wait a couple frames just in case the game acts weird. I, I don't trust Secret Armada. For the obvious reasons of chat, chat witnessing. So we do this to get through the first part of this. They're going to glitch out for a bit. I can technically control them if I really quickly swap to them and move them during this part. But yeah, I have no idea why they thought it was a good idea to have a limited use magic. So I'm going to show you what my strategy is going to be. Are you ready, chat? Bear witness to what I'm going to do to save MP. So notice how the boss is coming in. Thank you, Barkeep. You know what, chat? I've had enough. It's barrel time. Everybody, get in your designated barrel. I'm tired of this boss. And this is how I can save enough MP to beat this boss with what we had before. The barrels dodge all damage. I didn't use them at all up until this point in the dungeon. So that's one attack I dodged, two attacks I dodged. We gotta go in. So I attack to cancel it. While the enemy is coming down, I'm going to start casting another sword. I'm gonna let it cast a little bit in the animation because I don't trust Secret of Mana. We're gonna pump up. Oh, really hoping that. So we got a crit, which is really, really good. That saves us time. Uh, I'm still gonna try to pump up here. And I gotta wait for that animation to end in any way, so I'm gonna strike again. I'm gonna strike again. Oh no, I got trolled. I got one less strike than I was supposed to. That's fine. That's fine. I usually can get about five strikes in before it resets. I have just enough to do this. It's so brutal how close it is. So I'm not sure if I canceled the spell damage there or not, to be honest with you. I think I did. Oh, hold on a second. Don't mean to have the messengers open. Why does the boss look like the dragon you ride in Trials? Uh, that's because the mana beast of this game is not any different than the dragon that you find in Secret of Mana. So they're the same. The white dragon, Flammy, same as Mount of Beast, but like related. So if we get really lucky, we're gonna get another crit and this is gonna save a lot of time. If we don't, it's fine. We did a lot of damage. All right, so here's where I'm gonna, this is where I was making the mistake last time. I'm gonna use her magic to dodge this attack. So now I can't die. So even if they get here, it doesn't matter. Canceling the damage. And that's the mistake I made last time. That was the mistake last time. I needed to respect that attack. And now we can beat the game. So we're gonna do another tactic to try to dodge the spell without using magic. The cure, because cure is very slow. I'm gonna wait till the flame is about there. I'm now going to cast sword up and I'm gonna use a small pause to then cast here. The boy will take damage, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. So to make sure the boy doesn't die, we're gonna wait a little bit. We're gonna have the girl immediately heal. So this will cancel most of the damage and or if I'm too late, it just, it doesn't matter. So because it's gonna take a while for the boss to come down anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and re-magic up because I don't trust this sword to last long enough. Because we gotta wait for it to fall down slightly anyway. Game, please let me attack. Oh. Did you see how short that lasted? Like, seriously, what were they thinking? So we're gonna cancel damage on him. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start casting magic on him again. Cause it actually wore off chat in three swings. Normally I can get a little more, but we're getting a little unlucky. Cause it's a timer. That's fine. 
So we're gonna do this to make him untargetable because it seems to like targeting him. So I hope that means that the sword buff went through. We'll find out in a moment. It did. This is gonna be real tight, I think, because I did it slow. She'll she'll be invincible, but I think this will be fine. So we got one more chance at this. Yeah, that extra defense is why this sprite is not dying this time. Alright, so very annoyingly, I'm gonna have to dodge again. I could try to time double spell cast here. The downside is like if I don't do it early enough, the boy will take damage. If the boy doesn't take damage, then it's fine. So I could try, for example. Like, right there to see if this is long enough for him to become invincible. So we're all- we are completely dependent on the girl's MP. If she runs out, it's over. Yeah, see, that was too slow. It's just really annoying that, like, again, like, the magic sword lasts for such little amounts of time. I have one chocolate here. I could candy to avoid using MP here. In fact, what I'm going to do... I'm just going to re-up the ability here, because I don't trust the game. I'm going to have him just eat the chocolate. Alright, let's see if this is good enough. Uh, game, please don't make me lose control randomly. We need to kill him on this cycle, or we're in big trouble. And it wore off to two swings again, so I have one more cast and that's it. And then it's over. So I'm getting insanely unlucky. I don't know what's going on and why my sword is lasting this short. Oh, that was weird. I'm not sure why I'm only getting three swings, because I need to do a total of about... Oh. I was gonna say about 12. I'm really happy that killed the boss. Because that was really, really unlucky with the timer. GG. Also, we glitched the, the mana magic, because of course we did. That's classic Secret of Mana. So we got a first try on the comeback with the barrel, and that barrel gave us just enough MP to beat that boss. Oh, barrel. And I did use our chocolate. I could have used the last barrel instead, but it is what it is. Exclamation mark. Numdu, he's gone. I didn't even say goodbye. Yeah, it's possible it doesn't stack correctly, but even in general, Numdu, it seems to count when you're casting spells as well. So I was afraid to actually muscle magic myself again. Numdu. I'll never forget you. Ever. So yeah, the downside of using the, the sword magic to dodge is then you don't get a lot of attacks in. Kinda sucks. Me too. And Dialog too. But we must be strong. So yeah, it's kind of like a catch-22 on that one. The Mana Beast is turning into snow! Where, like, you, you use the magic to dodge, but then, like, you don't have a big opportunity to strike them. It feels really bad, chat, <laughs> in case that wasn't clear. <laughs> From playing the, the final boss, Secret of Auto, we've hit the credits. So yeah, big oof, chat. If this final boss was anything else, I would have been able to enjoy the weapon system, I think, a lot more. And also, obviously, it lasting, like, what what would you say? 12, 15 seconds at most? It's like trying to beat a boss with, like, Shifter Level 1 active, and but, like, if Shifter Level 1 is active, you don't hurt the boss. So dumb. So anyway, we had one extra attempt after that to try to get through it. I had a barrel to maybe save the sprite in case we somehow didn't get it. Uh, I did practice off stream. I usually got somewhere between four and six strikes. And some of it has to do with whether or not the beast comes in from the top portion of the screen or the bottom. I don't know how random it is, but every time it comes from the top, it wastes your buff timer. 
So it coming from the top is pretty unlucky. It gives me some time to muscle magic if I wanted to. But I felt like I was so close on MP, I didn't really want to risk it again after the first cast. So yeah, the barrel to dodge uh, saved us, I think, roughly about 3 MP with how I was dodging. And given that she was down to 3 MP at the end, maybe technically I could have beat it with my total. Or if we had been luckier with crits, we would have two cycled. But yeah, we got like, what was that? Literally one crit while muscle magic was up? That was pretty bad, comparatively. And then again, we didn't get as many attacks in as I was expecting. So hey, even with uh, mistiming the, the sword stuff, we managed to get through, I guess is how you can view it. But good riddance to this boss chat. This is one of my least favorite bosses in the entire Mana series, hands down. No contest. Hate this boss. Hate this design. Don't like the concept of it. Don't like that you're not allowed to full recharge MP in between. I don't know what they were thinking. But anyway, we're going to save some of that negativity for the review because I have a lot of words to say about the last, what was it, three dungeons of the game? Also, I love that this character basically sold everybody for Eternal Youth and they just got away with it. <laughs> like, they weren't even arrested or threatened or handed over to the kingdom. They're just like, yeah, I'm going to live here now. Cool. So I, I think we failed big time morally on that one. <laughs> There's the Cannon Brothers. There's Watts, who somehow beats us to every location. I'm not gonna lie, when I saw his design a long time ago, I thought the helmet, the skull part, was his actual head. It took me a while to realize it was a helmet. <laughs> I'm like, listen, I've seen weirder character designs. Oh, and screw this merchant, by the way. Bad merchant. Hate the cat merchant. Double, double pricing us on goods. What a jerk. He knows what he did, chat. 1k fairy walnuts. What a monster. I guess Fauna is fine. Pretty much. Yeah, we'll be seeing very questionable merchants throughout the series. This is probably the start of it. He, oh, cutscene us is allowed to run up those stairs without slowing down. I wish that was the thing in the game. Apparently there exists a stronger translation of this game. This does look like the original SNES translation when I'm watch, like reading through it. It doesn't look like they redid it in any sense. So I know, for example, for people that want to patch their original SNES and are not playing the Switch version, uh, they have things to improve dialogue readability, which is definitely, I think we could all agree, a big problem with this game, especially since you can't put a solid background behind the text, which just seems like a really dumb mistake. Also, I barely remember those characters. I'm going to say one of them's named Timothy. Well, time to say goodbye to father. Damn, we have a really good arm. How did we put the sword in from there? Oh. So the sprite didn't go on, slash Numnu didn't go on to another world. They just haunt their village forever, where everybody they know is presumed dead because we never found them. Keep in mind, chat, that was a plot point. We never fan found their family. He's like, they'll be okay, right? <laughs> and then the grandfather is like, ho, 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 and never answers the question. So that's kind of awkward. 
we basically destroyed the sprite slash num news life start to finish they gave up literally everything or nothing honestly the end so we've now officially beaten the game I don't think there's anything after this. This is those, the old classic days where you just left on the, the end screen forever. Predating those new game plus options or being able to save for post clear data. So enjoy the shooting stars. And I guess we're probably gonna edit that into the last portion of the stream. Is that attempt was mostly fine. Not the cleanest boss, as I said before, if I had timed the sword spells a little better, I could have gotten more than three hits. I could have gotten somewhere between four and six comfortably. Um, and we also got a little, I'm not going to say unlucky, but in an unfortunate circumstance where it was the boy that kept getting hit by the lunar magic. I'm not sure if there's a way to manipulate it. I'm sure there is. But when the boy gets targeted like that, that also wastes the timer on the sword. So I have to spend more time worrying about, like, stopping his damage, and then he holds still after the spell, then maybe he gets a swing. Whereas if that beam magic had focused on the girl or the sprite, which I think one time in off-stream practice, it did happen like that. I don't know if it just hits the player-controlled character or what the deal is. Um, but yeah, it was way easier when those spells did not hit the protagonist because I was able to essentially rebuff the sword twice since I would get the initial four to six hits, then the spells would happen, then between the first and second Lucent Beam that hits you, I would reapply the amount of sword buff and I would get another three to four hits. So if they had gone that way, the fight also would have gone much faster. But anyway, chat. Let's let's end this particular part of the playthrough, because this is the final gameplay portion of the playthrough anyway. And let's have a quick let's chat. So how do we feel about the the final boss of the game? I hate it. <laughs> I hate it, chat. I hate it. Bad boss. It, you, again, there's a lot of ways they could have fixed this, and it still could have been like quote unquote cool. Like, here's what they should have done. When you first cast uh, the unsealing of the sword, it should have been permanent. I don't mind that as an initial mechanic, but the fact that I have to keep reapplying it every 15 seconds is really stupid. I also think that the damage probably should have been more weighted towards scaling on the level of Dryad instead of having it on a short timer that probably would have been a good balancing decision i don't like that literally all the weapons are useless or at least unless unless you hit them to maybe some new max by farming enemies which i didn't really talk about but all those elite enemies we saw throughout the dungeon technically drop the final weapon orbs for the remaining weapons so if you really want to grind it out and unlock all the weapon orbs while leveling magic and stuff like that it is possible to get something quite strong but yeah, we're not we're not doing that. I don't like grinding. So overall, final dungeon impressions. I feel like the final dungeon in particular was not really good. I think we got to see a lot of faults of the game. The damage that enemies could do to us is insane. It's insane. How is it between two dungeons the armor goes from 80 to 240? Like, hear those numbers out loud and then understand why I started taking so much damage in that final dungeon and why that final boss was really, really annoying the first couple times we tried it. Like, it is really, really crazy. And the, and the worst part, chat, is that there's technically armor that's even stronger than the stuff we could get in the shops, which is not inherently bad. But the difference between what we had prior to Underground Palace, and even to some extent entering Underground Palace, compared to the armor required for Pure Land, c compared to things recommended at least, well, we're not going to say required, because you obviously don't need it in certain runs, but in terms of the recommended armor, is just like so much higher in quality. It's kind of ludicrous, honestly. So yeah, we went from taking about 420, 440 damage with the sprite to like 320-ish to 340, just off a of one armor upgrade. Like, just think of it that way, chat. That's how crazy the defense difference was 
and we got stuff from like the gold city as a reminder like we had one additional purchase um as i said before at, 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 we got the armband and stuff like that at the gold city then we had i think the underground palace armors and stuff like that was the was the last shop upgrade that we ended up getting and yeah what a ridiculous jump so we didn't need to go back fortunately and replay the bosses or do anything so i'm glad that we don't have to worry about that but yeah i i just feel like since i'm probably gonna cut the commentary from the other uh where, where we will say we took a break i guess it's, it's technically true and technically accurate but i will say a big downside to that in general is just the sad, the sad fact that it's like it really feels unfinished the last three dungeons in particular have had more bosses than basically the entire rest of the game like just think about it how many bosses did we fight in pure land how many bosses did we fight in the final dungeon Like, it was crazy. We we must have killed close to 15 bosses in those final three dungeons. It's crazy how many bosses there were. Pure Land had, like, what, three dragons? Plus, t plus like, snake boss, plus other boss, plus a Gigas. Final dungeon had four, I think. Mana Beast. Um, Lich. Slime. Buffy. Underground Palace had so many I couldn't even name them. It it had like the the whatever the the snake monster is, the half man half snake. I forget what that's called. Not Yuan Tai, but it's like a Lamia or something. I forget. It had it had uh the repeat of the Dark Rider. It had like the reptile people. It had one other boss I think as well. Like it was crazy. So it felt like they just kind of jammed whatever bosses they had left into the end. And it was kind of an unfortunate feeling, to be honest with you. So for me, whenever I play this game, I enjoy basically up until you get flight in the game. Because I, I feel like once you get flight, the game kind of falls apart almost instantly, sadly. I'm not sure if other people felt the same way, but like the difficulty in the scaling between like post flight and then the dungeons once you have flight is like bonkers how ridiculous it is but anyway chan i think that's enough we'll we'll talk a little more i think in the review but i wanted to give some comments specifically on the last portion just to make sure that it gets into our little discussions here because honestly ludicrous so we saved probably about five to eight hours of grinding out of the game. And honestly, the last dungeon wasn't too difficult. Most of the difficulty of it just came from like really bad boss design. Like that dark slime was BS where like you can't even melee it after a certain point. Or the fact that vampire is also ultra annoying to fight. Or the fact that the lich is basically untargetable because it has like missing animation oh yeah we didn't really talk about that in the playthrough but when it's like teleporting around and stuff it could just choose not to exist during your charge attacks and it just dodges you so on top of bosses naturally having an evade it literally could just choose not to be there even though it is there so definitely feels like the last five bosses in particular were pretty poorly designed and it makes sense if they're trying to scrounge up stuff from like the other version of the game to make it playable which is unfortunate but anyway chat that's enough of a, a commentary i'll put on the gameplay segment we'll go into a more full-blown rant review in just a moment and then maybe if i'm in a good mood after the rant we will continue with trials or i might need a mental break we'll we'll, we'll figure out when we get there chat uh but i have a feeling this is going to be another one of our longer discussions sort of like when we played terranigma so with that, I'm going to say we are done for now. I don't plan on showcasing other bugs. There are so many more bugs, it's not even funny. There's literally like 15 to 20 bugs you could do if you had a second controller. Uh, I did almost all the single player ones. I didn't show the soft reset stuff as much in this playthrough. 
Um, and I don't think I want to after having to deal with the Mana Beast. That kind of that, that kind of killed my mood for the game. I don't really care about getting the Mana Sword anymore now that I know the damage uh, formula doesn't work properly unless you do the standard Dryad buffs. So no thanks. No thanks, chat. So with that, we're going to say goodbye to YouTube. So if you, all, if you did watch to this point, hope to see you again in the review.